a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, we began our BB12, no, BB Canada 12 coverage. (laughs) (laughs) And then, disaster struck. We got very lazy. CBB UK was on. We had other priorities. And we just forgot about it. No, we didn't forget about it. We've been building up to this monolith of a moment to talk about 15 episodes of Big Brother Canada in one and a half hours. No, it's going to be longer (laughs) than the Star Wars saga put together. Oh my God. It's not going to be as boring as that though. Yoda in a council meeting. No one needs that sort of shit. I like that shit. Mm. Prefer it to... Use the force, you will. (laughs) Hot what? chocolate in the fucking... Oh, H-O-H-R. don't be a hater. I, I'm Lindsay. And I'm Gaz. And we're coming to you live from London. Ooh. Not Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> UK. I, we have not spoken about Big Brother Canada at all. No, not I wonder one... why. It's almost as if nothing of interest has happened. Uh, oh, come on, that's not true. Don't be a come hater. Come on. I, was ha- I am a full hater. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I, I was hating. I was hating. I was... Yeah, I was hating for a while, but now mm. I'm I'm in. Yeah, I've... you've been telling me there's some bits of note. Yeah. <laughs> so you've, you've seen it all. So. I've, by the way, <laughs> I've made full notes. Mm. I made notes, and but then I cut them down. You've cut them down. You said there were 30 yeah. pages when 30 you put them pages. in a Word doc. 31 pages, and that was without this week. And now? I've got them down to 11 pages. So right. buckle in, this. <laughs> but I'm going to skip through. Right. Now, look. if you want to see my notes... Mm. They're available on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> They're available in the Blast shop. Do you know what I found a few weeks ago? My yeah. old BB on Blast handwritten notebook. Oh, remember we? I used to do handwriting. Yeah, notes and I as thought, well. oh, imagine like one day it can they, auction this off. They can in the BB on Blast museum. <laughs> Me and Jack were always talking about what would be in our like relationship museum. Oh, like, oh it would have that in that there. Big old what's yeah. that called? Carol. It's Carol. <laughs> Fluffy pink character. We're, yeah, listeners, we're finally in my house again after many weeks of being at Gaz's house. Yeah, um, all of our UK celebrity big brother yeah. coverage came from my house. We're yeah, now but now we're at mine. So we should it... do a. Wait, you haven't got any wine in there. I know. You've got squash. Yeah, but we've drunk a whole bo- bottle of well, wine. We have a already. bottle on ice as well. Yeah, that's so. true. That's fine. I'm all right for a minute. But yeah, we might have a guest appearance by Towie, though, which would be oh. quite nice. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was a guest I didn't know about. <laughs> well, we're maybe a drunken Jack bowling through the door. I just got and... excited. I thought someone was coming in. <laughs> like who? I don't know. Or Arissa was on the phone yeah. or something. Oh, Arissa ain't going to be on the phone with you talking about Big Brother Canada like that. How dare you? Think of the sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> no, well. Arissa, if you're listening. No. I've been enjoying it, so remember who your friends are. Well, okay, bear in mind, I am still watching it. Mm. I wouldn't say I hate watching it, I mm. just want it to be better. I was, uh, there was a few episodes where, that I didn't want to watch, it felt like a chore to watch. Yeah. But, I do feel like now, Anthony's a bit more under the cosh, so I'm enjoying it a little bit more. Mm. But when, like, Dennis went out... Dennis. Dennis Din- was Din- our only He hope. was good. He was our Obi-Wan Kenobi. He was good. When he went out, I was like, oh, shit. But then when they did Vivek over, uh, what is his Vivek. name? Vivek. When they did him over, that was fucking... I like Vivek. His reaction when they evicted him, was like, on that chair, and he just pushed back and just... His look on his face. Yeah. <laughs> that was fucking great. That was the exec veto. That was good. That was a good twist. Like that? that I, I really enjoyed that. I just think, for me... Coming off of last year, mm. which had such a strong cast, mm. I mean Koozie, and with the whole yeah. hope with the letter, yeah. and what's the guy? What's the guy Zach. called? Zach. <laughs> oh, like, he was fucking great. And Ty, I mean, Ty. No, but like, Ball game. you had strong feelings about him at least. Oh, that's true. I this did that, yeah. cast are mm. so bland. No, I don't agree with you. There. Really, no, I, I think the casting is terrible. No, I don't agree with you there. Who are you going to remember after this year? Uh, Spicy V, he already knew. Yeah. That's it. No, Spicy I... V is carrying this series. You cannot have one housemate mm. who you've brought back from the past be your star attraction. Bailey, I like. She's slightly unhinged. Yeah, so that's she's why okay. I like it. She's got good yeah. expression. She'd be good gif material. Also, if any... she's quite bug-eyed. If anyone was, bo- <laughs> if anyone was bothering to do gifs for Big Canada, she'd be the perfect one to do. Well, no one is, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Useful global. <laughs> if they were, she'd be a great person. Or she must have got recruited just on the gifs alone. Uh, who else is good? Well, Dennis was good. Dennis was uh, good, but we had... A couple of episodes where it mm. got good with Dennis, yeah. and then he went. No, I know. And like we needed Dennis, we need did need him, yeah. But now I Dennis feel like the things. Are... <laughs> <laughs> That's Australian. I feel... <laughs> I feel like things are splintered a bit, and I feel like there's more intrigue. Do you know who my fa- current favorite is? Mm. Boy or girl? <laughs> a boy. 
Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> Go on. Todd. <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Little does that mean you know. I'm Cora for <laughs> You may think I'm thick, but I'm not thick. <laughs> the way he talks, I'm like, hurry up, man. I've got things to do. It's Why does he talk so in slow? The diary room. It's just like... It's like he's doing a presentation. I don't think he's kind of funny, though. He just literally has not got a clue. Oh, come on. It's not given for me. It's not given. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see what it has given mm-hmm. over uh, over these parts. Right, so we, let me take you back, also, listeners. Also, sorry. In the time travel have laser. Not, we had have not competitions oh, as well that. a few I've times. I've just been skipping that shit. I, don't, I ain't got time they're, for They're not still doing that, are they? I stop, just, stop that. It's boring. That's why Big Brother US got rid of it. Now... Let me take you back to episode three. Do you take me back? Right, we're going to get far, through far this away. quick. Episode What's happening? Three, Janine, this is the week Janine got evicted. Who? Do you remember that her? That blonde woman. She, I liked her. She reminded me of myself. She had the t shirts with the lips on. That's very me, isn't it? The repeating pattern t shirts. Yes. Gaz is stroking and said he doesn't know who Janine is. What do you think about Anthony referring to himself as Dougie Licious? Do you think he's on the Big Brother Mount Rushmore? Because I don't think he is. Uh, with Kevy, Wevy, and um, who else? Ica. Yeah, Ica. Gary, I'd say. Oh, don't remind me of these greats. Making yeah. me even sadder about this cast. Pax Brothers. <laughs> Two-headed monster. Honestly, of all, of all the people to bring back... And do you know what pisses me off? What? People always shitting on Big Brother Canada season four with Tim and Nicky. It was the best Fucking one. best season. The be- well, <laughs> five is really good as well. Is it? Five is good. But people always shitting on four that season. Four is so good. Are they? Four yeah, is I think it's amazing. I think it's because the Pax Brothers won. But if you take that element out of it, that was a great season. I mean, it was more exciting for us because of Tim and Nicky. Yeah, but honest. come on. Tim and Nicky are great TV. It doesn't matter what country you come from. Mm. Anyway, I'm getting derailed. Mm, okay. just hanging off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was good. A combusting <laughs> internally. Uh, what I've said here, why can't we have oh. more villains like Tom Plant, Kenny Brain, and Andrew Gordon? Toxic Kenny Brain was fun. great. He was great. Uh, right. They've finally got a TV screen in the HH room. What do you think about that? Are you cold? Do you want to put heating on? I'm fine. Uh, I'll be okay. I'm um, boiling. They can also switch to different mm, rooms. That's for the I first like time, that. though. Too much power. Um, have opinion. they not ever, ever had it in Canada no, before? No, it's an American sure? thing. Yeah, I'm sure. Wow. Are you sure? Who are, you think, a are you sure? I, well, I think they've had a feed, but they couldn't like switch around all the rooms. No. Yeah, I'll switch a room. No. What do you think about this for a sob what? story? Anthony's best friend went to sleep and never woke up. It's a pretty good sob story. Why are you pulling that face? You don't believe it? How close was he to that phone? <laughs> no. Like it was his best friend. Yeah. I don't know. I got a feeling like, oh... Mm. He's very cut up about this friend. Yeah, well, wouldn't you be if that Were happened to me and you? Very special friends. Oh, Oh, come on. Don't insinuate what? that about one of the pretty boys. They're all red-blooded men. <laughs> I'm not sure, you know. I really? Started, I'm oh. question marks over it. Oh, yeah, actually. Let's think right? about it. Dane, Adam Pike, and who's that other one? The goat. <laughs> not that sort of goat. Oh, that know. one. The yeah, nanny yeah, goat. Yeah, 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 that one. <laughs> the wiry hair. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he's called. He yeah, went. Maybe. He was just. Oh, the, who cares? No, he's, he he's wasn't nothing. even a real member. He no, went early. He's, no, he didn't. Didn't he? Was he? Thinking of the brigade. Um, yeah. Oh. Oh, never mind. Anyway, I thought that actually made Ant- Anthony slightly more relatable. more relatable. But come on, not really. Um, but that is sad. I know someone else who that happened to, and that's pretty fucking awful. Um, Did you just die in sleep? Is yeah. That what happened? Yeah. That happened. Yeah. That happens. It's like adult cot death, isn't it? That's scary. That, that shit is, scares yeah, me. That, yeah. Yeah. That's the, why you can't sleep at night. Mm. Um. Anthony said. Anthony said to Spicy V, "Me and you in final two would be the greatest things happen in the history of Big Brother. No, two incorrect. people with their backs against the walls. What? Bitch, you came in there. You had one week of safety. Shut up. Talk, nah, talking also. Shit. Yeah. What's that? It's some car pulling up um, outside. Again, mm. right, Din- Dennis was the one person who, mm. in the early stages, was mm. like, any people come in from other seasons, we've got to get them out. And the sa- how the people repeatedly let the same thing happen. They let these new old players return and hang around. And they should be I... getting them out stat. What about a Spicy Bee with the Girls' Alliance? Immediately evicted Donna? What the fuck? Like, what was that all about? Oh, she's not like a real girl. We need to evict her. Someone who was ne- she's what never was coming about? for her. It was a. I know what it was about. It's about being jealous of Donna. Is what it was about. Mm. It's pathetic. Anyway, uh, now can we talk about the HH flooring? Because I'm quite upset about it. I don't think it's ugly. <laughs> it looks a bit like lava. Oh, no? it's disgusting. Marbled. 
And it's just what is, what are they going for in that H-H trailer? Actually, the trailer. Well, the the bed is just literally a mattress dumped on the ground. I think it's been there for a while. This looks absolutely terrible. Um, Dane delivered the Wendy's. <laughs> Come on, this is important. Why, why are Anthony and Dane trying to convince everyone that they're so close? That was my main thing. So Janine went on the block, and that was it for that episode. Um, what has Anthony got in those giant trouser pockets? I could ask you the same thing. Gaz has come oh, around here with, with Avery's utility vest on. Oh, don't get me started on Avery. <laughs> oh, she's annoying as fuck. Mate, she's my... Her. Mm. Do you know who my other most hated is? Come on, think about it. Apart from Anthony, is obviously. Uh, your other most hated? Is it oh, a girl? No. It's a guy? Yeah. Goose. Yeah. Goose. Is that You're right? calling him Goose. Is it Goose? Yeah. So cringe the way he talks, and he's just going, Oh, freaking this and freaking that. You know, my thoughts on these people who don't swear. Is I that think, an impression of me? I think we have to be <laughs> kind to, to Goose. Why? I think he's on the spectrum. Uh, so what? <laughs> uh, so what? I think he's a bit special. Everyone's on the spectrum. I, I am. Oh, well, there you go then. I'm not kind to you. No. no, I shall not be kind. It's my podcast. I've got fucking. 16 episodes no, to slag be off. Kind here. No, he, don't listen to this if you don't want to hear the truth. <laughs> He's annoying as fuck. Anyway, I miss the old cogs and key cards, don't you? I oh, want to nominate. Speaking about what? It's <laughs> <laughs> a throwback. <laughs> I used to like that. Bring that shit back. What I miss is the fucking theme tune. What? What is this? Da, 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 da. What oh is this God. pathetic intro they've introduced <laughs> with them walking through some hallway? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Is there no theme bill, tune? Bill, bill, bill. That thing. <laughs> What's that? Is it no this theme is tune? A, this is a, yeah. Oh, where they're like in a, a country house or something. Yeah. Who signed that off? Uh, the same person who doesn't bring Marshall the Moose back. Wow. Here. Is, <laughs> is Arissa not an executive producer on this show? Yeah, Arissa, what's happening? Sorry, Arissa, I don't want to be one of those hating fans. Yeah. But you have. I like the program. You need to. <laughs> Sorry, I'm. I'm com- Good oh. cop, bad cop. He's got a lot to get off his chest. We've I'm not being done the that whole... person that goes, no, Arissa, you've oh, got to give us you're live the tar- feeds. You're the Taron of you this ha- podcast. No, but like... I'm the Kevin Jacobs, still on the payroll. Here's one thing I'll guarantee you. <laughs> Arissa knows the fans want the theme tune back. Yeah. And the network were like, yeah, but we need to make it different and mm. make it more Hollywood mm. or whatever. And so they've brought this titles back. We've been asking for the titles, mm. but the titles don't work like that. The titles are da 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 da. Oh, yeah. Arms crossed. Yeah. You know, pose. Ch- pretty boys and pose. pose. Yeah. And pose. Kick something. Tim giving a wink yeah. for the camera. Yeah, you're right. It's all of that. It's not people trying to look yeah, but like they sexy. Had that shit for years, though. Yeah, because they took it away. Yeah. And then people were like, bring back the titles. Yeah. And they brought back titles and they've got rid of the theme tune. Oh, uh, I never even noticed. The theme tune <laughs> is good. Like, mm. it's part of Big Brother Canada. Well, it's not good, but we're used to it now. <laughs> there are better theme tunes but it is the Big Brother Canada theme yeah, tune and is. we only hear it now at mm. the end mm. and the din- and between this is what people have been, this is what people have been waiting to hear from <laughs> us specifically oh, that is good oh, you're getting my juices flowing <laughs> 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 da, 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 da. Oh, look, at least we're making good use of this time that we've got to spend Do you know I haven't listened to a single Big Brother Canada podcast because I've been waiting to do ours. Oh, so I've got <laughs> so God. many backed up. So I'd be interested to find out what other people think. Anyway, episode four. Don't worry, we're getting there. Um, Janine was 44. She looked good, I thought. I didn't think. She did, yeah. Also, I thought this was a good way to start a sentence. What do you think? Mm. Also, another opinion that I have, dot, dot, dot. Oh, I think we should embrace that for... The, this is the sort of shit I've kept in from my notes. Do you like what it? What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Hot Chocolate Alliance has formed. The Brown Girls mm. plus Anthony. Tepid at best, I would mm. say. Uh, this is the start of my hatred for Avery. She's an annoying munchkin. Now, what do we think of these... Uh, Trust these... me, I've been watching some live feed. Oh, have you? Curveball. What? How? I know. Hold on, there is no live feed. Sorry, digital dailies. <laughs> yeah, Because you can me. access that stuff now. Tell me more. Me Avery's more. more annoying on oh, Digital Daily than she is in the Oh, how could she be more annoying? Edit. Trust me. You How's remember... I know I'm jumping ahead, but... Mm, jump ahead. We can jump all what's around. What's her name? Lexus was like, you know, I'm not hanging out with them because I feel like I'm losing brain cells. Yes. You watch one Digital Daily. Really? Tell me. You'll what's feel she like doing? you're losing them as well. Oh, what's she doing? Just really childish. Yeah. Uh, she looks young, doesn't she? The backwards baseball cap isn't working either. 
no, no, she's my most hated girl. Mine too. Wanted to know. Um, what about most this though? Hated girl. Yeah. Well, come on. Let's get it all out on the we table. We used to bring back the totem pole. Uh, you know, they used to do in the press, uh, in the sun. Oh in yeah. The tabloid press. Oh, the Joker's thing. Put them the Joker's on do the beanstalk that, or whatever. Yeah. I don't know if they do it for Big Brother Canada. Probably don't bother. Anyway, mm. what about their signage? You signed up for this and kick your feet up. Classic like, quotes. Mm. I like that. Spicy V is in mm. there, and that's a quote on the wall. Mm. Is it? So was Marty was supposed to be the other returnee? Is that up there? I haven't even seen that. You signed up for this. Is Spicy V? Is it? Yeah, to Terra in oh. the garden with the sunglasses. Oh, is it? I don't even the know. The garden, that. the hot tub area. Oh, that's a good quote. It's a good sign as well. Yeah, and kick like your feet this. up, Marty. Yeah, I knew that one. Because kick your feet up. Dougie hasn't got any quotes because no. he just slept slept the whole time. Yeah, and also he's annoying. So anyway, this next beat. You know what I've noticed as yeah. well. I was looking at the BB can. I was looking, I was searching for Anthony Douglas because I was thinking, mm. what do people think of him? Mm. Are people happy that he's Poppy. there? Dougie-licious. Do people oh, yeah. want to see uh, yeah. this? What did they say? Overwhelmingly negative. Oh, good. But yeah. people are really into mm. Dougie's feet. <laughs> oh. What are you saying? Okay, be careful what you say next. So if you search on Twitter for Anthony Douglas, there's a lot of love for Dougie's feet on, the, on Twitter. Why? What's so good about them? Well, they're often visible mm. and he wears no socks and people are like oh. no, he knows exactly what he's doing with these feet oh. with his feet on this this like clip I was like, oh. basically i realized there was a clip of him talking right mm. someone had tweeted it mm. i thought it was just like looking at what he was saying so i'm watching the clip mm. being like what is he talking about yeah it wasn't that it's just like he had bare feet in it oh. it's the feet the feet fans jack wouldn't that. like that he goes mad when i've got bare feet around even around the house he's like put some sock on goes nuts <laughs> to be fair feet are disgusting Okay, interesting. So then we have. I've seen worse feet than Ducky Licious's. We'll give him that. All right, good for him. So the, this veto, just in case you want to talk about it, was the this mush, mushrooms, bunnies, <laughs> puzzle one, where they had to dig shit out of a tunnel. Uh, Do you remember that? Yeah, well, Alice in Wonderland or something. I like that because it was equitable. Oh, yeah, yeah. anyone could do it. Yeah. yeah, you're right. And also, it was around the same time mm. we had a similar themed task in. Celebrity Big Brother UK. Oh, yeah, we did. They shipped those mushrooms over from the <laughs> Mole Conference. <laughs> I could, I'll be able to ship you some mushrooms in a couple of weeks. Just so I'll get around my cupboard. <laughs> JK, JK. They're not Ill- illegal ones. Doesn't involve me. No, I'm just cooking, just cooking some cooking nice... Cooking a uh, mushroom for the breakfast a normal, what's time. What's a normal mushroom that people uh, eat? Oh, a nice um, chestnut <laughs> those mushroom. Those ones, those are the ones I'm making. A clo- closed cup. Cap. <laughs> Is it called cup? I don't know. <laughs> Why don't I? Why can't I suddenly think of any mushrooms? <laughs> Oysters. It's like when Oyster you're on uh, Avancar's picture, picture slab. slab, isn't it? Um, Anthony was trying to finesse Dennis. He said, "It's just a big rectangle of people, but you've got to find your circle." Definitely thought about this one before he came in. I think thinking of quotes to say to people. Um, this reminded me of Squid Game. Rectangles and circles. I was discussing with Jack how ugly the pretty boys were, as he never actually saw that season. Lucky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you think? False about, branding. What do you think about these adverts? Because Jack said they're putting him off watching, but isn't Big that Brother part Canada of the play, Big Brother House guests are playing for? Isn't that part of the Big Brother Canada experience? Why has Arissa always got a cold when she has to record that bit? <laughs> she has. I swear to God, like there's something in, in the in the air in mm. Canada, like when they're when they come to start to record mm. this, it's probably really cold and like mm. the, it's like flu season. Arissa always gets sick just beforehand. Trust she's probably me. allergic to bullshit. You can hear that she's got blocked up nose while she's doing it. Mm-hmm. Lexa said, I'm just putting everything in sight into my body. You are. Um, <laughs> Good news for, um, what's he called? Matt. What did you think um, of Dennis's out, uh, attire, his mesh t shirt and his weird sunglasses? And well, stuff? he looked like he was going to Pride, <laughs> and I, I respect it. I wish I'd seen more of him. He was good. He was like an old school BB UK player, he reminded me of. Oh. Quirky. Um, have you noticed that they the car, mm. they don't win the car? What? You've not seen the small print? No. Yeah, Shut up. They so they've got to sit in that fucking car the whole time and not win it. They get a two-year lease on the car. Shut up. Yeah, You're joking. Give it back. Do, 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 do. Terms and conditions may apply. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Look, at the, look at the... Are you serious? All of the prizes have got small it? print. No, really? no, you can see it. Oh, we need to get... We need to lawyer up. So, like, the year's supply of skip. Mm. That's, like, $10,000 worth of skip or something. Mm. It's not unlimited for a year. Can, well, you, can how you imagine? Much could you eat in one year? Yeah. <laughs> you imagine how You'd fucking. You'd go on it three times, three meals a day. I wouldn't. I'm skip. fat enough. I don't need that. I'll oh, skip the skip today. <laughs> also, Did skip... somebody say. <laughs> <laughs> skip? Oh, 
hold on. Is that what they say? It's skip used to be called skip the dishes. Yes. But now it's called skip. And over here, a skip is a rubbish bin, which makes me think the food doesn't sound nice. Just well, do yourself a favour. Just chuck it straight in the bin. Rather did somebody than... say? Just eat. So it's just What's eat happening? here. Yeah. It's menu log in Australia. And now it's skip. <laughs> menu log? Yeah, don't you know that? No. Did somebody say? Menu log. Well, that doesn't go. <laughs> <laughs> that is so But how do they do? Shit. Did somebody say skip? <laughs> like, how does that one work? Did somebody say skip the skip. dishes? Might work. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to Google. I'm going to check YouTube if the skip the dishes advert is on there. What are we going to do about having more wine? Have you drank yours? No, I'll get some for you okay. in a minute. Dennis didn't use the veto because uh, he said he doesn't want to veer his game off the road and into a ditch. Well, how did that work out for you, mate? Who? Oh, great. Dennis. Dennis, yeah. So the next episode, I was admiring the BB water bottles. Do you like them with that chrome finish? I think they're quite nice. Oh, they've got the eye on them, yeah, haven't they? I yeah, I like those. Arissa, can you send us a couple? I'll make Gaz be nice about Bigger of a Canada on the next episode. What do, you think of, <laughs> what do you think of that? Bribing Arissa. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long version of Katy, Katy Perry. Hold on, are we going to get sued for this? No, we're going to get royalties. Mm. Oh, they got Katy Perry over there. We got we Christina got, Aguilera. Oh, I thought we had Katy Perry on ours as well. Maybe it's an old one. I've seen her on it. Okay, that's enough. Um... <laughs> Now, what do you think of the Lexus and Matthew showmance? Have you got any thoughts on that? Oh, they are the most interesting and entertaining <laughs> showmance that I've seen since Ike and Dimitri. Mm. And I, for one, mm. can't wait to follow them out of the mm. house and, you know, really eagerly await their TikToks because mm. I'm sure that will be thrilling content. Don't, content. don't you think Matthew's punching a little bit? Um... Not necessarily. Really? Do you see the way she looked when he left the house and the way he looked? Fucking sack of shit with that hair looking like a cockatoo and doing this. Stop it. I forgot he got evicted. Oh, he was being so cringe. What's he doing? The phone he numbers. He was doing that. Yeah, he was doing that. Was and he? also wouldn't look at Why was he not looking at Arissa? <laughs> I forgot about that. This is what I was thinking. Is he on Arisa the spectrum? Arissa was like. I was thinking, is he on the spectrum? She was like, there's some messages for you yeah. for when you left. And then she looked at him as if mm. to be like, yeah. they're here. Yeah. Look up. <laughs> Or was it nerves? I don't yeah, I think know what it was. It nerves. was. Something was yeah. No, I think they look quite equally much, to be no, fair. No, you're wrong. She's she looked re- terrible in that message. She'd yeah, been crying, she did, she? but she looked fucking hot as hell when she was done up. Yeah, but she's bland as hell. Well, she's... Like, you, I like you know, her. Yeah. Whatever. Come anyway, on, come mm, on. Well, you know, desperate measures. All this hot chocolate lot, mm. apart from Spicy V, yeah. I just think they dropped the ball with the casting. Mm. Well... Then they were, like, riding themselves up about Donna. There's a lot of crap on the floor in the bedroom. Dangerous. Oh, my God. Dan was complaining about the mess in the bedroom last night. And do you know what it is? What? They don't provide enough storage. No. They don't have a wardrobe or something. Have you noticed that the (laughs) bedrooms are disproportionately small? Yeah. Big Brother Canada house Mm. is not small. Mm. It's fucking massive. The Mm. garden, the yard or whatever. Yeah, it's it's huge. Why is it so big? Mm. You've got these, like, A4 bedrooms. Mm Mm-hmm. A4? Yeah. What do you mean? Like an A4 piece of air? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, make the bedrooms bigger. Mm. I would like to see this from Big Brother Canada. Make I know... the bedrooms bigger again. I know. Well, they've always been there, mm. that size in Canada. Mm. But I would like them to have one conjoined bedroom. Mm-hmm. And it removes places where people can talk. Mm-hmm. And it makes it harder for people to conspire. Mm-hmm. And I think I would appreciate that. Mm. But I think they keep them separate so that they do have places to go and talk. Because they like to have a bit of a team's twist and that sort of but thing. But I they? just would like it to go more towards the mm. sort of open UK shared space mm-hmm. well, to I see how it affects the game. To be honest, I think that's the least of our problems. And also build, build in some wardrobes, please. Mm. Yeah, can't you get a sponsor for that this from is, winners? Yeah. And then you can well, just take all the winners' clothes and just throw them out the window because well, they're so you disgusting. You know who we need? Who? The brick. Oh. Yeah, wardrobes. Oh, yeah, that's true. Don't they Bring have a furniture the sponsor anymore? No. God. What about this painting on the wall? I think everyone looks rather good in it, don't you? Sexy. Better than the um, murder mystery one, isn't mm. it? I think it's quite good. Um, are they contractually obliged to have these conversations in the car? No. 
I think they are. <laughs> uh, Vivek, uh, why do you fucking say his name? Vivek, thank God he's gone, is a super fan. He even watches VBUK in Australia. Does he? Yeah. How do you know that? I've got it written down here. I haven't listened to anything, so it must have been the show. Oh, didn't hear that. Yeah. So, yeah, he, that's why he looks so pissy. I like when him, he went. I think. Oh, but what did he do to Dennis? That was so... Oh, that was such a dumb... So no, weak. Like, terrible player. Yeah. But quite... Quite, out of this cast, mm-hmm. quite, quite a nice character. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Here was my working title for Janine's Eviction. Loose lips sink ships. Do you like? I don't understand it, but I like it. Yeah, because she's always wearing the t-shirts with the lips on. Oh, God, she really made God. a big impression on you, didn't she? No, she was forgotten as soon as she walked out the door. Now, we've got a very serious is- issue to talk about here. This HRH competition with the spitting. Oh! <laughs> Why did they do that? <laughs> was it, it was snakes? Yeah. What do you mean about that? Is, is Spitting it, venom. Was it like, it's the movie's, movie's theme, is it to do with like Indiana Jones or something? Why cologne noise? That was absolutely vile. Pre-Covid that would have been a disgrace. Post-Covid that was a health hazard. It was a good competition though. It was, it, it was, was entertaining. Um, <laughs> it was one of those ones where you had to sort of reveal who you wanted mm. out. And those are, they're the equivalent of like the shit star yeah, task, they are. aren't they? But wasn't it making you sick watching people spitting? And, um, like, when the spit was, like, crossing streams... It wasn't even the, even the end of it. There was another one with milk, wasn't there? Oh, was that? They had to put in their gob and spit into something. Oh. And then me but, and, me and again, Jack... again, equitable, no? Me and Jack were saying, what if you add your own spit by going... And then adding that into the mix, you could, you could win quicker. Well, yeah. Oh, it's disgusting. What's happening? Um, I knew Laurie would be up in arms watching that, so I wish I'd be like, whoa. Was she? Yeah, she was. She was absolutely horrified. I mean, so was I. How does that shit get signed off? Who thought of this? Sick. Uh, spicy one, because uh, she was most popular and everyone likes her. I don't think the um, Thanks. comps are particularly bad, though. I've liked a lot of the comps. That's why I'm mentioning them. Mention it all. I uh, so spicy one, and then she was like, oh, God, I wish I hadn't won, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Avery said something which I thought was the most Avery thing ever. She said, I don't care who goes home as long as it's not me. That's just all oh, she cares about. Um, and then Spice is kind of trying to set Vivek, uh, Vivek up um, by saying who is an alliance of, like, East Coast people or yeah, whatever. Oh. Uh, and then Bailey came up and had an argument with them and went, are you out of your mind? Well, there was talk of it early days, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah, but it was just spicy, an agreement. Spicy cornered him in the car yeah, and was like, did. leave back. Yeah, she's like... I've uh, heard that. Yeah. And he's like, oh, he's like, yeah, yeah there is something And then eventually else. she basically told him And she's like, leave came up to me yeah. and told yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, right. And you cornered him in the yeah. car. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she locked the doors. Yeah. <laughs> Central locking. We've all been there. The child, child locks. Um, and then uh, Donna was trying to eat her sandwich while the others were all oh, shouting. Yeah. And then Spicy said, eat your sandwich, it looks bomb. <laughs> and then they did a crunch sound effect. Uh, and then Bailey gave her the side eye when she was eating the sandwich. Spicy's brother came into Wendy's and said, don't forget it's your season, which I think was saying, forget about Anthony and do your own shit. Oh, Outside contact. Read it between the lines. Mm. So Elijah and Vivek, Vivek went up. Next episode, look, can we get in there? I don't like seasons where sacrificial lambs get blamed for stuff. It's not fair. So, so far we've had Janine got like stitched up for something she didn't do. This time Donna basically got stitched up. Dennis got stitched up. Vivek got stitched up. There's a lot of people gone out sort of unfairly. We talked about Donna's fiction already. Like no, we haven't. Um, I'm just, I'm doing a free, what's it? Uh foreshadowing mm. um elijah has come to do his due diligence we like that don't we and he's worried that people aren't going to take his game seriously uh how seriously do you want people to take your game you want to be under the radar stupid i was watching the live feed well, tell me about the live feed <laughs> i want to know and elijah it's not live feed you're gonna get people it's the same thing this. right um how long are those clips how did you even get those are they on the website they're on that other website mm-hmm. um Tell me They're like an hour and a half, whatever. Oh, um, he was like, oh, this season, mm. it's got everything. Elijah. I'm sure it's going down so well. Like, the viewers are going to love it. <laughs> and I was thinking, <laughs> mate. <laughs> Anytime anyone says that, it's like the worst thing He was thing like, ever. I know if I was watching it, I would be into it. Oh, like, God. Uh, how, and how so is it? So much. He was like, it's, and then, um, what's he called? Todd. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
expect the unexpected. Oh. That's what he, that's what <laughs> he Did said. he say that? Yeah. Oh, he does know something, man. As if, like, oh, this, you know, this, the this season's been so crazy. Wow. I'm just like, it, it hasn't. Oh, and what do viewers think of it? Because obviously I've not looked at anything or heard anything. Just the thing is a load of old crap. Well. But is everyone just salty about the live feed? You just need to look or? at the hashtag and... I can't look at the hashtag because I'll get spoiled. Oh, there's not much going on. <laughs> there's not much going on. Mm. I'll listen to the podcast. I'll, I'll eventually get around. I'm to worried it. about it, to be honest. Oh yeah, I mean they're not they're ting- digging it slowly into the ground, aren't they? Yeah. Um. Why do they do this? Why do these yeah, networks do this? I don't know. So, um, what's that? What's now? going on? <laughs> just, uh, uh, this is where Dimitri's came in and hosted this. Video. Oh, finally! Mm. Has Dimitri's got braces or something? Oh, nice. So this had a bit of a lisp on. Oh, did he? Jack said about Dimitri's, he's a fucking doormat. Jack hates Ica and Dimitri's. What is wrong with that boy? <laughs> he hates Ica particularly. What? <laughs> I know. I said, go on Twitter and say that and see what I'm happens. going to home. You. Yeah. He hates Shredding her. the letters. Has yeah. he watched it? He, uh, yeah, he watched it. Ica was a bit of an arsehole in that season where she shed the letter. Good TV, but, yeah, though. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's crazy. Ica and Dimitri's are like big, he brother, likes big god tier. Jack's a Kevy where he stands, so that tells oh, you all you need we to don't, know. We wouldn't get along no, with we that boy. No. Hold on, you are friends with him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> that ends today. So the veto was something of ropes and puzzle blocks. I don't remember it, to be honest. Uh, do you remember that? Dimitri's came in to do it. I think Dimitri's was the highlight of the okay. episode for mm-hmm. me. Are you looking it up? I'm going to see if I've it's got anything on it. It's episode seven, if that helps. Oh, I'm surprised you know that. Yeah, well, I've been writing it down because I've been trying to keep uh, track. Oh, I've got this picture of Dennis holding some block. So oh, well, there you go. But that Aww, doesn't make back, really Dennis. trigger any memories. Um, Donna said about Anthony, the only thing powerful about this guy is his mouth. And I was like, yeah, save Donna. Of course she was next to guy. I've written Putin puppies got a non-speaking part in this episode and maybe that's why I like it. Yeah, I thought they did sort of phase him out they for did. a couple of episodes because people were obviously feeding back going, we're sick of this idiot. <laughs> anyway, Spicy V put up Donna, which is stupid, and everyone looked shocked. There were some great expressions, but we'll never know what they were. Episode 8, Arissa was wearing a flared lacy pantsuit. I've said I like the drama of it, even if I don't actually like You've it. Let episode say. 7 go by without talking about the butterfly... Oh, go boob, on. The boob butterfly of death. Go on. Spicy V. Mm. Quite boobalicious, isn't mm. she? No, we've got Dougie-licious. More so than boob-alicious ever. Boobalicious over here. Mm. She's quite I don't know. butter-licious as well. The, uh, what, um, so is Todd. Mm. Oh, is he? Yeah. <gasps> oh, when he was wearing that vest and those blue shorts. Walking around Walking the garden. Walking around the garden. Yeah. Me and Jack were going, what is he wearing? Should that be allowed? <laughs> <laughs> Should it be Bust, allowed? Busting out of it. <laughs> Not pre-watched. I just thought the butterfly really drew mm. attention to the boobs. Quite sort of like 90s, noughties look, isn't it? It is, actually, yeah. I used to have a t-shirt. I like it. Similar. I like yeah. it. I do like some of Spicy V's clothes, but not all of them. Spicy V, she's like... <laughs> her dress sense yeah. is like pretty trashy. But, but I think she looks good with it. Yeah. I, I think... I respect it. Sometimes she looks good and sometimes she looks awful. Um, but I must say, I'll give Spicy V her due. These first few weeks, she was playing absolutely diabolical. I do feel like she's stepped it up a notch. No? Better than... She played... She was playing better than last time, I suppose. Evicting her own but, members of the girls' lines was stupid. Don't you just think, like, when you come back, they yeah. want to kiss your ass? Yeah, so it helps you a lot? Of course, of course. It's like, the, it's like the BB-19 situation, isn't it, with Paul? you got this... You know, that's how you began your baptism on the fire. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. Mm, not good. Uh, so, Donna stormed off because she'd been put on the block. I do feel sorry for Donna, don't you? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, here. I've put the cut Anthony out of the edit this week, which is good. Mm. Um, Anthony said Bailey is going next. Oh, yeah, Anthony and Bailey had a row. And Anthony said to her, this is not the Bailey show. You blew up your game and made a fool out of yourself because you're a chatty Cathy. And where do chatty Cathy's go? On the block. That's diary room talking that it. That pissed me off when he, he said He started that. lying about her, didn't he? Yeah. He was spreading lies about her, wasn't he? And Bailey went, oh, you're so annoying to him. I was like, yes, say Bailey. Because at first with Bailey, I was like, oh, I can't stand her. And then I was like, suddenly like, Bailey hates Anthony. I love Bailey. I got a feeling that... Mm. I got a feeling. So I was saying to Dan, like, Spicy is kind of carrying the season, mm. but Spicy's like her USP really is the volatility, the potential yeah. to go off. Yeah, like her and Terra. Yeah, 
like Tara was pissing yeah. her off and her blowing up was yeah. like a bit of a serious highlight. Yeah. Uh, but that conversation she had with Anthony this week when mm. they were in the bathroom, that was Oddly, good. That was good. Anthony is the antagonist. Y- yeah. But I thought, I was thinking that when they cast her, they probably thought Bailey might be the one that would piss her off. Yeah. But it's coming around yeah, there as Anthony that was a good, that And was Anthony a is supposed good, to be her ride or die. Yeah, that was a good conversation. That was tense. Um, Avery said she's going to vote Donna out to her face. Super fan to super fan. What do you think about that? <laughs> Just shut up. Um, Spicy said, you should never get someone out who is not going to put you on the block on the week that she's put Donna up. Okay, Spicy. Very... She, then she said, we're protecting... What's the problem with Donna? We're protecting the guys. Make it make sense. I think they were jealous of her. No, but what did they say was the problem? God knows. No idea. Um, uh, then they were just were trying to flip-flop. Maybe they should save Donna, but they didn't, and Donna went. Um, and then Lexus left Donna a bitchy message for no apparent reason. I was just like, what the point is the point in that? Okay, now we're on episode nine. This was good. This was a good comp, episode nine. The musical, finally, guys. Has been evicted? Finally. Yeah, Donna just went. Didn't she kiss the guy on the way out? Did you notice Todd. that? Did you write about that? Did you just yeah, say that? Yeah, I wrote Todd and Donna Showmance. Thank God we didn't have to watch it. I wrote about it. Is it Todd? It, it was Todd, yeah. No, Irish Todd. Oh, it's Todd. And he, sure. they kissed on the way out? Yeah. Wow. I know. I like Todd. He's sweet. So You what? Finally. Yeah. Musical chairs in the Big River house. This comp was so fucking good. Don't you think it was fun? I can't remember it. It was like the spots <laughs> on the ground. Oh, yeah, I've got yeah. a picture of it here. Yeah, Don't yeah, you think yeah, this yeah. is a good comp? Um, this is a yeah, simple... Yeah, but we were supposed to be able to follow it from that screen. I couldn't. Could you? I wasn't following it. This was a simple comp that just worked really well. And also oh, it had that BuzzFeed... Buzzkill Temptations with, Buzzfeed. The, with the yeah. sushi, yeah. the beer. The... It's because they obviously didn't want to rely on the buttons this year. So they were like... Do you remember that? Oh, they actually... failed yeah. before, didn't they? Yeah, so they were obviously like, how can we do Buzzkill but make That's it... That's a shame. I like Buzzkill. But I like the music musical chairs guys we've been yeah but have both we've been crying out of a musical chairs for uh, big brother for many a season yeah. and here it was all those letters to john demar finally paid yeah off. i liked it It was simple but it was good simple it was... but effective and what do you think about them bringing in uh rob from last season Roberto, to, give... to give a massage he was looked like he let himself go a little you bit fancied him didn't you <laughs> not this time around you wouldn't be, wouldn't be going to the massage table of course you would oh well, yeah don't get me wrong but yeah and grab a tequila on the way <laughs> damn, damn right i'm on the way back <laughs> Actually, i hate tequila so no <laughs> yeah they were getting pissed weren't they on the side spicy was doing spicy sh- did get pissed and doing a shot and twerking and then started to uh, up oh, didn't she grind up on goose poor oh, boy oh god jesus oh freaking hell spicy <laughs> his accent oh he's got that <laughs> accent that arlie used to have that could there's that tip <laughs> just certain canadian accent that just grinds my gears it sets my teeth on edge no offense if you're from that region in canada but it's just oh rawr, 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 like that <laughs> like i can't deal with it sorry no offense. what the frick <laughs> it's so annoying um Lexa said she's gone 21 days without a drip of alcohol. I'd like a, a, an alcohol drip, please. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've pretty much got one. Um, what else happened? Oh, they get offered them a slot pass. They offered them a game A game advantage, advantage hidden in the house. Avery won it. Mm. I thought a spicy view was going to do an Emma in the bed sit at one point because she was jumping up and down wearing a boob tube. And Gosh. Spicy's clothes. She, Not she, much of them. She didn't wear the right size to start. Right. This. That PVC dress she was wearing this week, that oh, was definitely I like not, that one. That was definitely not the right size. I think quite a lot of them are... <laughs> mm. What? Putting on a bit of weight in the house, don't you? Oh, Spicy and Anthony had already put on weight before they came in, so... And oh, Todd, yeah, Avery looked, like she, put, Avery looked that, like she put on weight as well. Everyone's getting a bit chunky. Well, there's nowhere to do, go and do exercise. Have, they got, a gym? Have the, they got a gym? They've got the barbell. Oh, right. The bar, you know. You've so got, someone that, doing You always squats. put on weight in the Big Brother house. Yeah, That's just do. a fact. Just look at Jay Goody. Um... Uh, then what happened? Bailey was getting pissed off that she'd not had any of the food. It's like you you did have a chance to go and yeah, get it. Yeah, and also she went out first round, so um, so a uh, Vivek won, which was quite a surprise. So stop. I the was thing, glad. I the think the thing was right next to him, but the other person oh, ran yeah. over and nearly got there. It's close, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. It was good. I really like that competition. Bring that back again. That was why good. does Bailey hate Vivek so much? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it was probably just some made up shit that some some poison someone poured. She in really him. had it in for him. Yeah. Um. So D- Denise, what's his name? Denise. Denise. Dennis. He was saying, <laughs> "What the fuck is his name?" Dennis. Dennis. He was saying to Vivek, "You know, you need to like 
put Anthony up. Think about your game. Think about your <laughs> long term game. Impression? Uh, <laughs> 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 Is that how oh, you need to know. <laughs> I can't remember how he's swiping. <laughs> it's quite. <laughs> Was it? <laughs> Go on, you do it then. No, Sounds I good. Can't do that. Sounds slightly offensive. <laughs> um, he's. Uh, Bailey said, I'll roll over in my grave before I go home on Vivix HOH. Um, Kayla doesn't want to see another girl go, even though they evicted their own fucking girl last week. Like, how stupid are you people? Well, what? When you want one to go, they can go. Yeah. Vivek said, not a single person hugged me. <laughs> um, oh, I sp- think I feel for Vivek. I don't. Spicy came in the pool room and did a forward roll, which I quite enjoyed, onto the <laughs> sofa. <laughs> and she said her strategy is finding the person she's least close to and fixing it. I quite like that as a strategy, to be honest. Um, Vivek was being cringe and having a meltdown over his pictures in the HOH room. Anthony said, you were in a lightly formed alliance, <laughs> which I quite like. <laughs> um, God, you've been paying close attention, yeah, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, uh yeah, uh, Denise. Uh, <laughs> Denise. Thank God he's gone. Denise Van Outen. We'll okay. go after. We'll <laughs> go after Anthony. He's talking sense. Um, but in the end, v- Vivek put up Bailey and Elijah. Um, and Elijah wants to show people he's not to be trifled with. Why? Episode ten. Bailey said Vivek is playing a scared game. Um. No one respects this HOH because so they could easily go against him. A scared game or mm. he's scaring people? I don't know. What episode is it? Ten. Ten. D- Dennis said, I see the bigger picture and was pushing it about Anthony. But Anthony was coming in and pushing it about Dennis. So they were sort of both, which side was going to get to Vivek first. But what they did was actually quite good because they come in. I don't know if it was now, but it's, it's on my mind. They come mm. in, they're like, look, uh, Dennis is going to go next, and after that, and when he goes, you're going to be on the block next to him. So they sort of like said, like you have to put him up to otherwise, save yourself. Yeah, yeah. otherwise it, it was like reasonably persuasive what they said to him. It must have been persuasive, he, seeing as Dennis was his only hope in the game, yeah, and he got was, rid of him. That was so stupid. Um, it was worst move since uh, what's he called again? Marcellus. No, the guy. Oh. Jedson. Jedson, not using the veto himself. Oh, that was bad. That was the same. The same. Sort of thing as Marcellus. Um, so the VO was um, a sun lounger thing. Yeah, I put sunbed POV. But, um, so Karen came Karen in. Karen came in with a te- heavy webby towel. <laughs> That's quite funny, wasn't I it? I like that. That was good. And someone said, sit on his face about Kevin Webby. He won't like that. Oh, Actually, maybe he will because he goes both ways. Karen coming in to cause chaos, I've written. Mm. Um, to- uh, Karen was upset because Todd didn't know who she was. I don't think Todd knows. Who anyone his is, ass from honest. his elbow. No, he doesn't even know to go and sit on the block when he's talking. Oh, it. yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, but apparently he's just playing dumb, so he said. Do, what do you think to Todd just playing dumb? No, I don't believe that for a minute. <laughs> so Caleb won that veto. I don't really know what that veto was, but anyway. I had um, to, like, stay there, not move. I didn't really understand it, did you? And While Karen ranted in the corner, I don't mm. know. I love Karen. Bring her back for all stars. Karen and Godfrey, please. Um, I thought it would be a great pair to yeah. have brought back. They should have brought them back instead of Spicy V and Anthony. I d- I don't, don't get me wrong, I do like Spicy V, but also, when she's in a Godfrey's position... Godfrey's had a life-changing experience, didn't he? Did he? Yeah, something nearly killed him. I can't remember what it was. Oh. I'm glad he survived. Me too. Spicy V I like when she's an underdog. I don't think Spicy V works when she's in power. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But I have been enjoying her still. They've put her in power, though. That's true. So yeah, yeah. They so they all came in to pressure Vivek, but he said he has morals. He was planning to put up a girl mm. at this point. Spicy and Anthony were laughing after the conversation with him. I said he's not going to be this stupid, is he? And Vivek said, "Are oh, these guys playing me to himself? If this idiot puts up Dennis, I'm out." Uh, the veto got used on Bailey. Vivek put up D- Dennis. He said he's going to play logically. Dennis said he was going to burn this house. Yeah, he said that's fucked up. He should have put up Anthony, for fuck's sake. So stupid. Because if you put Ant- Anthony up, as much as people would be like, they'd be like, this is our chance, get rid Of course. Do you know what I mean? Dennis in the diary room said, this is one of the most single hurtful things that has ever happened to me. Oh. He was really upset, I liked actually. his indignation about it. He was just like, he was incensed, wasn't he? I liked it. What's indignation? You know, indignant. 
I don't like, know. Like, how dare you put me up? Oh, quite. How very dare you? He was probably his only hope in the game. That was, I mean, Vivek must have rued the day that he did that and especially yeah. with what happened soon after yeah. and I bet Dennis was watching at home doing rubbing his old, hands together yeah I, I fucking told you, told you. So also I liked what Todd said when he put Vivek out I was like this is for Dennis oh uh, yeah yeah I like that um, so episode 11 why did Dougie talk about the mountains of the Himalayas I've got no idea we're probably talking about Mount Rushmore again uh, D- Dennis said he's going to tear it all down uh, Vivek is having a meltdown in the diary room and Dina said, Dougie, got in your ear. I saved you. You killed me. I'm gone. How are you going to win if I'm gone? Yeah, he said, he right. you'll be next. You might yeah. last two weeks, but you won't win. Mm. He was he was right. And he, he did last two fucking weeks. That was correct. Two. Sure. He said, uh, I waited 10 years to get on the show and now I'm not even going to get to jewellery. And he took Vivek down last week. He took him down with and the that's veto. that's why he pays him. Uh, et tu, Bruto. Um, he said, what? you betrayed your number one. <laughs> Are they going to trust you? Oh, this is the same thing you just said. You'll last a couple of weeks, but no one's going to trust you. You're the betrayer. Oof. This was some shit. No one trusted him anyway, really. No. It was funny, like the week after when they were like, oh, we forgot v- Vivek's basically supposed to be in our reliance. Oh, yeah, have to I'm pretend. Just, yeah. <laughs> what, directors or he must have realised like straight after, like, I fucked up, don't you think? As soon as he came down. Sure. I think he's a bit of a clueless boy, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. Dennis said, um, oh, Todd said that was uncalled for, what uh, Vivek did, which we saw later, he didn't like it. Dennis, D- oh, fuck's sake. Dennis <laughs> said, there's a cult with Anthony. You're all playing for third, not even second. He's the only one that gets it. Mm. Now, what do you think about Tola's origin story about being born in a field and the genocide? I thought you might be interested in this. Mm, vaguely. Mm. I've, well, yes, actually, because I've been to Cambodia and I've... Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it was quite an emotional experience, oh, actually. Sure, yeah. So, the regime when they were like trying to to do their genocide or whatever, mm-hmm. they like killed a lot of children. Mm. And then one thing about it is they photographed every child they killed. Oh my god! And more chillingly, the the like killing camps or whatever, mm. like death camps mm. that they created. One of them was in a school. Mm. So there's a school where you can go to mm. and walk around and on the walls they've got like all the pictures of the victims oh that died. Oh my god. It's really <laughs> That's heavy. That's the last fucking and thing they, I ever want to do. Did you go there? Yeah. Shit. And they've still got like the torture, the chairs and things they would tie them to with like a nail where you had to put your head against it and stuff. Shut all kinds up. Of, yeah, it's really dark. <sighs> Sorry, listeners, so, like, if you're affected by things like that. He's That's really lucky happening. that he got out wow. to Thailand as a refugee. That is fucking terrifying. That one thing about... Okay, here's another thing I learned about that. Mm. Uh, it's quite common in Cambodia to eat tarantulas. Mm-hmm. And so they look like... A, it's not cut up or anything. It's mm. like deep fried tarantula. Oh, you can God. just get it in restaurants Jesus. and it's a normal thing. Yeah. The reason being that during the time of the mm. Khmer Rouge, mm-hmm. the people had got nothing to eat that, mm-hmm. to the point where they mm. had to eat spiders. Right, right. Which like they could uh, get them out of the ground. Mm-hmm. They live mm-hmm. in holes in the ground. Mm-hmm. And now it's like Tradition, something that people will eat yeah. because mm-hmm. it became part of the diet. Yeah. But they were driven to it because God. there was such a scarcity of food. Wow, that's interesting. It's the educational section. Yeah, no, that, <laughs> that is interesting. Anything like that, I couldn't go and. It's like look going. To, it's like Auschwitz, I couldn't, but in I couldn't do that Cambodia. Either. I can't even watch anything like that. I'm such a baby about things like that. I went to Aberfan where What's they that? had that landslide in Wales, and it just completely wiped out of school oh, and they was like hundreds of kids died yeah. and all the teachers everyone died in the whole school and there was just like the grave site there mm. and that's just you know a natural disaster mm. and that was just so sad and that was, that was natural, a natural though. thing yeah when humans have done it to them yeah, it's so kind well, of that's even worse, worse a million yeah. times worse so the killing fields were literally mm. they were fields where they kill people mm. the description is mm. very literal mm. they were just like have these big pits and then smash their skull in and push the dead bodies in. And they've got this, like, tem- stupa... You know what a stupa is? Like a, mm. like a pagoda-type mm-hmm. structure mm-hmm. in the killing fields mm. where it's glass on the outside and you can see the skulls between... Oh in, through God. the inside, they've, like, put the skulls. And they've all got big holes in <gasps> the top where they're brutally murdered. Oh, my God. So, yeah. 
I'm going to have to do a trick, is, trigger warning at the start of this episode. Is, well, too late. Um, <laughs> we didn't know this was coming. But yeah, I mean, he really is... That is really a survival God. story. Uh, okay, he, he managed to get out, but, like, he must feel very grateful. He said his mum hid his kids... Hid her oh, kids yeah. under the floorboards. Yeah, and that's his, like Anne Frank. And his other brother, brothers and sisters who were born before he was... No, who were alive before he was born died. They died? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. They I didn't died. catch that. Yeah. Um, like before he was even born. I don't like Taylor as a person, um, but I do admire his story. Mm. I just, what do you think of him as a character? Uh, oh, he's not entertaining no. really, but I don't mind him being there. Mm. I think it's like, you don't often see that many Asian people. No. So, for the representation, mm-hmm. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. He might come out later as a, more integral part of the show. Yeah, he might do. He's potent- got potential to win things. He seems, well, he makes out like he's a comp beast. But... Yeah, but he's only won like one or two things. Mm. But I do like these people who come to Canada and they seem to have like this, you New know, life. these uh, migrants. Are they migrants or immigrants? I'm well, not sure. In, you could say either. Yeah, who come to Canada. They always Both, seem, like but... Godfrey was as well, seem very grateful for the life they have there I and the opportunity. Well. I yeah. Too. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it is, I do like hearing those stories. Me too. It is interesting. And it seems like Canada is a really cool place to live. So um... it always makes me think it's like, such a utopia yeah. but it's obviously not <laughs> no it's not but it, it still seems like a pretty if I could name like 10 countries in the world that I'd want to live in probably Canada would be one of them mm. that I would choose um, anyway I heard an overheard conversation here which mm. we've not had in a while no. if you had to give up three fingers which ones would they be <laughs> it's Doug, it's Dougie asking that. <laughs> I'm not sure um, <laughs> I noticed at this point Anthony's job title is energy compliance supervisor oh. I thought we could just imagine him cracking the whip yeah. can't you um, uh, Dennis was campaigning to stay and take out Anthony. He said he will do the things that needs to be done, but then he did a loser speech about how he will never forgive Vivek. There was a sheep vote, and uh, Anthony gave a horrible goodbye message to uh, D- Dennis as well. Oh, did he? he said it's just been nasty for the sake of it. So, then the HH comp for the next one started. We're coming up to episode 12, if that helps. It, I couldn't understand what was going on here. Did you need knowledge about previous seasons, or they had the awards, the trophy like room Waffle Gate, and yeah, what was the setup here? It doesn't actually matter. It was really like the true or false questions about. But did you need things. to know, or was it they've just no. shown you pictures of these things? I suppose the trophy room is the equivalent of like the files room. Oh, the filing it? cabinet. Yeah, you're supposed to go and remember Look. stuff. Oh, okay. It was yeah, a memory you. test. Got you. I guess it would have helped. If you knew, because mm-hmm. you've got the reference points, yeah. like Wafflegate means something to you, yeah. so you can probably like go, oh yeah. Mm. Speaking of which, mm. I didn't expect to be missing Anika and wow. Santina mm. as much as I do mm. this well, year. Let's not go mad with Anika, maybe Santina. She was good TV well, compared she... to this lot. Mm. I think I know what your problem is. There's no one really like campy. There's no fun. There's no funny. I know what you mean. Where's the fun? Where's the drama? Uh, Yeah, I know what you mean. Campy. You know, like, you know what I mean? Big character, Koozie, Santina, being a bitch. Yeah, like cartoony almost. Yeah, like over the top. Over the top. Potential villainy. Yeah. But. Mm. Everyone's bland. I know what you mean. That's why I was. Oh, happy. That's it's why annoying I was happy. So that's why I was happy that this Matthew guy went because he's adding absolutely nothing, and it's like, yeah, just get him out. It's just pointless. Mm. Just go. Yeah, he was pointless. Um, so I'm, I think we'll be richer for losing him. Anyway, uh, Elijah won this. I'm refusing to call him Goose because I just don't agree with it. Um, what is this uptown books thing that Anthony? Yeah, what, is, what that? is that? Also, have you know? noticed that Tola keeps wearing these? loaded t-shirts no it's his like he's got a brand mm. if you search it it's that says loaded <laughs> by tola or something mm. on instagram and it's like last posted in like 2017 or something god reminds me of that oh i can't remember what it's called. oh dolphin crash <laughs> is that a us thing it's a us thing shout out bb bath back um so uh anthony said he's gonna lay low for the next few weeks yeah okay well, he doesn't do a lot of laying I mean, he's down. about fucking six foot five isn't he he's not gonna lay <laughs> low that well um all three of icties were next to each other on the oil painting oh you wouldn't be next on that oh. list would you only <laughs> it's like the screen on the uk oh well, that rose gonna yeah go. <laughs> bingo how to make bingo <laughs> only bailey can say us na- save us now i've written that's scary 
Elijah's threatening to make a big move. All right. Are we on uh, a different episode or what? I don't know. Well, yeah, we we're are. on episode 12 now. You skipped skip egg, egg and spoon race, did you? Yeah, because it's not interesting. <laughs> if you want to bring up this shit, feel free. So Elijah's gonna, threatening to make a big move. He's going heavy as the head that wears well, the crown. Why aren't you calling Goose? Not exactly Stormzy, is it? Um, Why have I written Don't Let Us Down, Goose? Is it the HOA? Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Winners have dressed Goose like a Neapolitan ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> you've had something Neapolitan ice cream flavoured lately yeah I've not eaten them yet do what you want to try them tonight Aero Aero buttons I do want to try them yeah yes. I've got two packets of them so we can it's happy days yeah we'll, ch- we'll, we'll do a review of that later um, what about this have not so they brought some goats in animal cruelty I just skipped this so I don't know do you remember um, I've got a picture of it oh mm. they were dressed like goats I thought it was the power of veto for mm. a minute and then it emerged that it wasn't it i was, hoped it was, it was the but it wasn't that was spitting milk oh i didn't milk watch this from a bottle has someone on production got something they need to tell us about some <laughs> fetish <laughs> have you heard of the app field check that out if you're into this weird shit <laughs> what i haven't i don't know yeah. i've heard of it but i don't know what it is yeah it's for kinky people oh is it that's where ted needs to what go what is it called field f-e-e-l-d i don't know Playing oh. the field? I don't know. Oh. Field, like field. touch. Oh, yeah, groping. <laughs> I was thinking of Katie Hopkins in the field. <laughs> Milky Meadows, it was called. Oh. <laughs> That's like someone's username. The goats are called <laughs> Jessica and Joni. That's all I've got. Oh, that's <laughs> someone's <good>. field using it. <laughs> Milky Meadows. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's I watched on X videos last week. Todd said, it's the closest thing I've had to sucking on a TT in oh, probably two months. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Somebody said, it's survival of the creamiest. I think, oh. who was doing the, the presenting, I the don't hosting? Know. Was I'm it glad Goose? I didn't watch that. It sounds disgusting. <laughs> oh, I've got a potential picture. Spicy bit V with the butt out. <laughs> There you go. I don't uh, remember I it. I missed that. Uh, have you got the end of that now? Dougie saved from slop because he didn't get food last week. Spicy mm. is on slop. Is it? Yeah. Nobody Fuck talks that. to me. We I'm, don't, I'm got alri- to... She said, nobody talks to me. I'm already in a pissy mood. Oh, she does oh, get yeah. a bit moody. Yeah, slop drop. Shout out, Gary. Do you know what? I think that... So, I'm not sure, but I think spicy ed- um, benefits from the edit. Mm. Oh, no shit. Cause what? I was... Acting the guy. <laughs> yeah, no pun intended. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. I was watching the feeds and um, what? But no, you never told me about the feeds. I haven't been watching the feeds. I just watched it You're today. Like the live feed correspondent now. And it was Goose's HH actually. Yeah. One thing I did like about Goose's mm. HH was his half zip. Stop calling him Goose. Ha- not- That's what he's called. No, he's called Elijah. His, even his mum calls him Goose. His oh. half zip sweater with yeah. um, f- there's a Borg. Oh yeah, with brown swirls on it, but you it's like green. That. I like that. I I have a, ju- a coat that's just like that, but I don't like the pattern on his. But that jacket I do really like. I've had that jacket for five years and it's still going. I should hope so. It's only five great. years. Yeah, Jesus. I've got it in TK Maxx. Uh, well, yeah, that's supposed to be <laughs> labelled. Anyway, um, what was I trying to Goose's say? Goose's jacket. Uh, sp- Canada Goose. <laughs> <laughs> I just made myself laugh at it. I just slopped your. I just dribbled. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? A goose pissed Spicy off. Yeah. With the HOH, didn't he? Something happened. She'd put him up the previous week and said, Keep your name out of my mouth. And then she's like, Oh, I shouldn't have said that. She was ranting about him yeah. in the hot tub area. I don't know yeah. if it was in the show, but she was like, Oh, he's such a loser. Oh. He's such a loser. Like that. And I was thinking, Oh, those words don't look good. Mm. I, I don't think this is a good look, and maybe oh. by them cutting stuff like that out, oh, really? she looks better. Oh, that makes me like her more because he is a loser. Um. So then we had uh, then Spicy was going. Oh, we can't get Vivek out now because we've got to pretend we're working with him. <laughs> um. Then they had this bit outside <laughs> where Spicy was annoyed actually. That yeah. Way. Then we had this bit outside where showmans, the showmans were kissing and yeah. Spice was like, mm, can't I just sunbathe in, in peace? That was good. She wanted to have another row in that hot tub area, didn't she? It's, it's like her like, area. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, she said, is it, she said they're so in love, it's so fucking annoying. A sniff of jealousy, I thought. Do you think? Mm, not sure. Well, I don't know. Um, Spicey said that Lex is being carried through the season. She's like a robot. I'm for the girls. You're not for the girls. I'm drawing the line. Line in Lex the sand. is the line in the sand. Lex is too 
fucking down Matt's throat, isn't it? Is it Matt? Oh, is it? Yeah, mm. or the other way around. Um, if I was spicy, I would be jealous of Lexus and Kayla, and I wouldn't want to stand next to them either because they're both very, very tall, attra- skinny, attractive, and kind of intimidating because they're both so beautiful. It would make me nervous, to be honest. I'd just hang around with Avery in the munchkin corner. <laughs> just try make myself look better. <laughs> Um, then we I have... feel like, sorry, yeah. I feel like Kayla and Lexus, mm. they're just so interchangeable. Mm. Like, it doesn't matter. Kayla, I feel like, does have a bit of a personality. Like, when she, she, does, She's pop off than a, Lexus. she does pop off a little bit. Yeah. I feel like now that Matthew's gone, there might be a bit of fight, infighting between the girls, which might be quite good. Maybe. I mean, because they have drawn the lo- well, loin in the sand Well, Lexus now. will have to limp back yeah. to them now. Well, I don't think she's going to. I no? think she's going to team up with... And Anthony, Tola, and who's the other person on that side? Or is that it? Todd. No, Todd's with Bailey. So Todd's sort of on the girl's side. Oh, the directors. Oh, so maybe, shit, maybe Anthony's side is fucked then. Goose. It's just him and Tola. I still feel like Goose is kind of with Spicy. Ooh. You call him Goose. <laughs> Anthony's got a guy. Next Gag out. out. Please. Anyway, Elijah's having a talk in the hot tub. I've never even seen a hot tub before. It's been there for ages. God, what's happening? Um, and then uh, Todd needs two times eight. Oh, yeah, I already said that. Uh, Tyler said to Todd, I'm going up. And Todd said, going up where? <laughs> 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 Which I quite enjoyed. Um, and then Tyler was like getting upset that he was going up as a pawn. To be honest, if I was him and I was going up as a pawn, I'd be a bit sus, wouldn't you? Tyler going up as That's a pawn. That's not someone you put up as a pawn, no, you're not is pawn it? Material. No, you're not. Tyler has been quite argumentative for someone going on the block. Uh, the noms. Elijah was staring straight down the barrel of the camera and delivering the noms in a really weird way. What? Because I think that's he's part on the spectrum. No, I thought he was like sort of putting on a show. No. I think he I felt he had to deliver some pomp oh. and I just think it came off quite robotic it came off weird as fuck um, and then uh, he was like so Tola not, he I, was like <laughs> yeah right and then Todd and then Todd, Todd and then Todd just didn't get up and go to the chair oh uh, yeah <laughs> and he said it again like yeah, Todd uh, Todd's just like oh <laughs> what, what day is it? Okay, mate. I'm playing dumb, are you? Um, and then Todd said, "This isn't the last you've seen of the Toddinator." And then Tyler in the diary said, "I'm amazing at cooking, so they're not going to evict me." Mm. Oh. And oh. I saw on the live feed mm-hmm. Tola handing around the beef to the girls, and they were all like, mm, oh, "Yeah, really? it's so good." Well, we've seen that strategy pay off to a certain extent, but I've never seen, never ever seen that controller of the kitchen win the game. Have you? No. This is, it doesn't have. They always no. go, and then they like can cook without them, and then they can. The thing is, if he, like, if he's got like traditional cooking from his background, it would be mm. good. Yeah, it's not everyone's would cup of keep, tea. Would you keep him in on that basis? Yeah, I would. Yeah, you would, but not everyone would. <laughs> me, that's how it affect me. But yeah, um, but this is not that kind of game. UK, you might it might. Curry more favour. Mm. Curry more favour? Mm. Curry favour? It is Why curry, curry? favour. Yeah, oh, I don't know. It? I don't know. Like curry more favour. My neighbour was currying some favour earlier, wasn't great. she? It smelled nice. Yeah, um, she, she, her cooking does smell good. What does it mean to be a Renaissance man? Oh, it's like... Do you know? Yeah, it's like... I, I don't know exactly what it means, but it means you're like forward thinking, you know, like a metrosexual back in the day. <laughs> like, you know, you're like... Uh, yeah, woke. You're woke, right. basically. Yeah, it's sort of like that. You're totally like culture, cultured, you know. Himself a Renaissance yeah, man. you're not. You know, you know, you're not like an oik. You're not like a caveman. You're like right, uh, refined. Yeah. Look, we've actually made quite good headway on this podcast. Do you think we should have a break? I do think we should have a okay, break. Okay, let's have a little lee break. Should we have the Aero Neapolitan? Oh yeah, we'll try buttons. those in honor of. We're going to um, come back and report. Why did we talk about Neapolitan? Someone was dressed like. Oh it. yeah, from winners, <laughs> Elijah. <laughs> Great. We've not had enough time to talk about all the winners' looks, but needless to say, they've all been been absolutely appalling. Idiots. (laughs) Right, we're going to have a little aero break and come back. Mm -hmm. And if you do want to sponsor us, Nestle, you can't because you hurt babies. Be right back. (laughs) Welcome back. We need to report that the aero Neapolitan melts are fucking delicious. Well, I don't want to go that far. I'm a bit 
Clo- a bit cloying, I would say. Well, you'd like those M&S bacon rashers, wouldn't you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was Big like, oh, fun. I need a sandwich of these. I ate the whole bag. <laughs> They're too dry. They're like... Right, anyway. Todd is trying yeah. to establish his catchphrases. They are, there she goes. <laughs> and you win some, you lose some. And are ye a screecher? <laughs> <laughs> is she a screecher? <laughs> it's not quite that, is I'll it? I'll never get that right. Do you remember his name? Will. Fucking hell, I thought you wouldn't. <laughs> no, you did, I you did. <laughs> Shout out Louis Walsh. <laughs> that reminds me of the hamster dance. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a hamster dance? No. Tell the me. website, and you went onto it, and it was just the gifts of dancing hamsters. Oh, it does vaguely mean that. Look, tell his voice on the podcast after all this time. He's still alive. 12 years old. He hates singing. He hates it. He's just giving Gaz a death stare. He hates... He ha- look, he just he walks out. He particularly hates the hamster dog. He hates my singing the worst. Well, I'm not going to sing on the podcast for for once. Um, have you noticed? Can we talk about this? What? In the HH room, the seating area, all around the edge. Yeah, it's like a trailer, seating. isn't it? So it's supposed yeah. to be like a movie trailer. Oh, is that what it's supposed yeah. to be? Yeah. see. Okay. I feel... Yeah. A on-set trailer. So Kayla walked in and everyone went quiet and she's like, oh, I clocked it. It wasn't mm. that hard to clock because they didn't change the subject that well, did they? You've got to have those subjects mm. ready to roll. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Even the girls were planning that previously. Yeah, the makeup, so like the makeup, oh, wasn't it? you couldn't roll to that when it was Kayla yeah. in it. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, my BB cream. Mm. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, the BB cream confused me because I thought it was so my big, big brother. Big brother cream. Nice. That's good. Um... Right, whatever else she's happens. Lexus compared herself to a nice car. Well, she's oh. called Lexus, so it makes sense. Mm. Um, Michael, what's his name? Michael? No. What's that guy called who she's getting Matt. off with? Matt. His hair. Oh, what do you think? It does look like Donald Duck's butt at the back. It's so bad. Any old hair like Troy? that. It's like, oh, is it? He was desperate to say in his VT, I'm oh, not yeah. white. Uh, oh, he looks it. He does um, look it, but he's got. Is yeah, because he Island, was saying because uh, that's why he had that Hawaiian sarong. shirt on and the sarong. Yeah, Hawaiian yeah. shirt, probably American, isn't it? Hawaiian yeah. Shirts. Look, uh, I respect now, your listen. culture and everything, but that hair is beyond the pale. Mm, I'm, yeah, I'm anti. I'm anti it. Chewy witch. Um, say. Yeah. What did he? Say? He said something when he got put on the block. I don't Some, know. I don't know anyway. Um, Sorry, that sounds really dismissive of it. I didn't mean to be offensive. Uh, well, I already apologised for being offensive, so you're, you're covered. Okay, good. Uh, the, in fact, uh, we'll apologise for anything we've said on this podcast that's offensive there. Yeah, ever. To cover the whole thing. In, in, what's it called? <laughs> in... Per, 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 oh, in perpetuity. In perpetuity. Oh, yeah. nice, nice. Mm. Now, Avery comes in. They're obviously... They're trying <laughs> to... <we> look at <laughs> expectantly. <laughs> so they... Uh, this Matthew and Lex is trying to... <laughs> <laughs> Matthew hot chocolate. and Lexus are trying mm-hmm. to snog each other and Avery comes in just sits there oh, you it's like how stupid twat. are you yeah. these people are trying to enjoy themselves and now they've got to talk to you fuck off yeah. um, anyway um, it's like Tally coming in while trying to do a podcast lying yeah. right there like that yeah look at him he's going to fall off the edge <laughs> don't fall, go too far that way you'll fall, fall off, off the, the fucking, fucking edge, edge. Um, no, have you noticed in this area where the car is what's it called infinity I don't want to give it the air time what brand is that I don't know. It's hideous. Not Alexis, that, the car is it? looks hideous anyway. And then it's... around the edge, you've got these hideous white sofas. Just that whole section, just half arsed. What's that, the back lot? Yeah, it's just shit. Um, anyway, that's where you go to get your MOT done. Uh, <laughs> Caleb also forgot they were working v- with Vivek. Yeah, because Vivek came out and sat with him. She's just like, well, What are you doing? And like, Oh shit, I forgot we're in an <laughs> here. Um, and Kayla was getting annoyed that Anthony isn't prioritising hot chocolate because Anthony was pushing for. Oh, the boys. Tyler or whatever. <laughs> um, the veto was one where you can eliminate people so Anthony can't hide. This is the one where it was all the different games, like bingo games, like crazy golf and throwing the darts and... Come on, you must have a picture. I actually do. Yeah. <laughs> However... <laughs> It's of Kayla, who looked really good as the host, in oh. the colours of mm. whatever brand was sponsoring mm-hmm. this competition. Let's not mention the brand. Who gave there, five grand mm. as a prize. Mm. It's golf. Here you go. Yeah. Sink your shot. You have so to you bet. Have to predict what time you could do toy. it in. What, <laughs> time, what time can you do this in? For the 
time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sink your shot. You got a bit for how long you think you'll take to get a hole in one. It annoyed me because everyone was throwing, everyone was throwing it. And then Bailey, Bailey kept going pro- for it. Hard, and then she had to do everything. In a quite haphazard manner, Yeah, wasn't but she was quite good at those darts, I thought. She I was good at most of it. I would have been it. so shit at that. That was sort of reminding me of that place we went to when we were doing that stuff. What the fuck? Which one? Gravity Max. Oh, yeah. We were playing games like that, weren't we? Oh, yeah, the shuffleboard. shuffleboard. The milkshake shuffleboard. What the fuck is a pickleball? I don't know, Any it's a new thing. It's anyone? a new thing that apparently Americans like to play. Is it? A new yeah, thing? Yeah, a new sport that Americans like to play. You just simply got to pickleball your, your pushover or something. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Piper, Victor Pepper. <laughs> what is that? Peter Piper, Peter Piper, Victor Pepper. Yeah. What comes next? What if Peter Piper? <laughs> <laughs> what if Peter picked his picker? <laughs> she sells seashells. seashells. Did you said tweet about that. No. What a terrible place to sell seashells on the sea on the seashore. <laughs> That's a great point. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> anyway, I thought Bailey was good at this, so I was annoyed when somebody else won. Oh, it was the spinning sums one. You had to get the land the darts mm. to mount it up to 60 points right quite hard that one that's not Got to the do one. maths and think quickly because it's like a time limit i would be so bad at that but that wasn't the one that she that wasn't the winning round the winning round was like the, the ice hockey yeah one. slinging slappers that mm-hmm. was like <laughs> <laughs> is that what it was called that's what i wrote down Ooh, uh. i don't know if it was correct well, or not well in that case we can tell word for you big boy camera it's not acceptable um, don't speak about the ladies that way that's our alliance name the slinging slappers <laughs> <laughs> we're just a couple of ding dong <laughs> anyway Lexus won that I was annoyed came out to Lexus buddy, but versus Bailey I it? was rooting for Bailey weren't yeah. you do you yeah. like Bailey she's, I, mean, I think she's fun I wouldn't want to be in a room with her but I think she's quite good I like her over the topness it's fun she's a little unhinged and I, I like her yeah Kayla said and I thought this was quite relatable I'm going to go and put my makeup on because I'm going to do a lot of talking today <laughs> I like that that's camera the, time that's the spirit that's the sort of housewife I can get behind <laughs> Anthony was already ruining things by telling Kayla what to do and to go and talk to Matt but Kayla didn't listen to him and she was like in the outside area going Oh, Goose in his jacket. The jacket that I like. That's a jacket like I've got. You know, the green and black one with the squares on? Yeah, I do know Yeah, one. it's, it's similar like that to that. Style. Mine's better than that one. Anyway, Sorry. this was good. Kayla was outside and she was going, fucking Matt, blah, 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 blah. And then Matt came out. Oh, yeah. And then they were like, uh, going, oh, about slop. They were talking oh, about slop. I'm just so annoyed. Yeah. Spicy's just, yeah. Oh, it I needs can't to take go. Me on slop. Yeah, it needs to go this week. And mm. they were like, yeah. And it was like a code of conversation, but it was really about Matt. Oh. I like that. That was fun. They said it smells. <laughs> Just how he did it. <laughs> Giving you side eye. He wants stroking. <laughs> um, I like that. I thought that was quite fun. Oh, yeah. Bailey said, by Wednesday, Slop is going to be out of the picture. I like really? that. Yeah. Um, the veto was not used. Good. That means Bailey is safe. Misinformation is spreading throughout the house. And Elijah is pissed. And then we saw at the very end of the episode, Tola finding something magical. It was like uh, 24 hours. Case. Yeah. And I was like, oh, no, they haven't given him a power, have they? But they hadn't actually, had they? I thought he'd won something, but he hadn't. No, he just discovered in the morning. He discovered it. When he discovered it, they were like, no, let's give it to someone else. So now we're on episode 14, the exec power app. Good Lord, it's breakneck speed. Arissa was wearing an orange dress, which I thought looked nice with puffy sleeves. Orange. Elijah said, (laughs) why didn't I put Bailey up? Elijah was going absolutely mental, like just spiralling. And he's, Bit of a Frenchy moment. Yeah, threw his hat and then went, sorry hat, you didn't deserve that. Horseradish. See? Uh, see what? Nuts, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> those are my words, Jesus. not guesses. We've already done the apology, so it's fine. Anyway, Spicy <laughs> said, what is this guy's problem? Um, Bailey is trying to campaign for Todd, but Todd has been lobotomised. Who cast this guy? <laughs> Tally, don't do that on the podcast. Um Tally, stop it. I've written here, oh, it's the exec, like, the exec veto, like, exec producer, mm. a.k.a. Yeah. Arissa. She oh. the, is she the exec producer or not? She is an exec producer, yeah. Maybe she came up with the idea. Well, the idea was good. I'll tell you what wasn't good. Oh, that actual, delivery. no, the actual veto. <laughs> you don't like it. Oh, the top veto. 
fucking billboard, a necklace, it's the size of it. It's like <laughs> if Spicy V had a sandwich board on. <laughs> Even Luanne from Real Housewives wouldn't fuck with that necklace. That's a joke for a Real Housewives fan out there. There you go. Yeah. All catered for you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so they were all called down for the exec power. Oh, no. Todd was found the exec power of veto missing, and he was searched for it. Not Todd. Tola. Tola. Sorry, it's four letters, and it starts with T-I, so I was getting confused. Um, then they were all called down for the executive meeting by Rissa herself, the woman herself. Uh, the fake succession music was back, and the exec veto came up with the dry ice through the table. On a spinning turntable. Oh, it reminded me of Michelle Bass and and Emma coming up through that cloches that's a reach but okay yeah. well it's good you know anything anytime something's coming up for a table that's what i think <laughs> <laughs> um i feel like spice was going oh that's sick did she say that probably yeah <laughs> so instead of the chain of safety this <gasps> it's time, a chain of rejection oh did you like this come on tell us your thoughts um Look i did it. like this i don't know where my notes are though I've written, did Tola swallow his toothpaste? Is that later? <laughs> That's t- before. <laughs> did he swallow his toothpaste? That, I don't know. I don't see where it went. You know, I don't where fuck with his toothpaste brushing people. Um, oh, they had to go around that big table mm. with the big brother eye on it. Mm-hmm. I like that the eye is present. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. Um, God, I've really thrown you off, haven't I? It's a good job I am managing I've got this. the order. Do you want to go Oh, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, because I didn't do the order. Hold on. So starting with Elijah. Hold on, wait. I Hold need a to minute. spell, Wait spell a minute. out the rules. But uh, they can sa- the the power is mm. you can save. Oh no! Hold on. Was this later? This <laughs> you can save one, and you can name that person can name their own replacement. Drop okay, one, carry on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I've given over the power to you, I've just crumbled. Arissa said you've been called to this meeting because one of you is going home tonight. You're it's going home. The power it will give, and possibly. The power it would give one and possibly two of you mm. is unprecedented. Two. Why? Well, the exec How? holder and then the person who gets used on, because they can choose who, who the replacement is. Ah, yeah. thank you for explaining that mm. to me. Um, be the only house guest to survive our first ever chain of rejection. Starting with Elijah, they had to pick one house guest who they didn't want to have the special power. Mm. So Elijah picked Tola. Mm-mm. Who Mm-mm. eliminated obvious Bailey? Yes, mm. and Bailey eliminated her arch nemesis, uh, Anthony Vivek. Oh, They're oh, yeah, mortal enemies, mm-hmm. biblical of biblical proportions. Mm-hmm. Vivek uh, eliminated Todd. You're reading my notes mm. upside down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't. And then it came to Lexus. Mm. She he, did, didn't she do Anthony? Because eliminated Lexus. Didn't she do Anthony? Someone did Anthony and looked pissed off. She did not. Lexus. Oh, did Matt? In a demonstration of loyalty to the, yeah. to the girls and to I, Hot Chocolate. I thought that was quite clever, actually. It was clever on yeah, her part. it to, was. She's like, my loyalty lies with the girls. To reject oh, her own showman. We never really saw his reaction to that. That's I guess true. he just didn't care. No. And then Matt picked Kayla. Who Coward. picked Anthony? Mm, I like that. He did not look happy. Did she say he holds all the power? Mm. I mean, he does. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. He's going to come for And you. Anthony put out Avery, meaning mm. that Spicy mm-hmm. V became the exec veto holder. Mm-hmm. Of all people, <laughs> it was Spicy V, the main character. Of course. How does this happen? Because she's all the most the popular in the house. That's why. Right. Yeah. <laughs> she's got a lot. Of, she, as much as messy as her gameplay was, she has got a lot of social connections. Mm. She has. She's got a lot more social connections this time around. But again, it's an advantage because she's come back as a popular previous player. Mm. So it's not because she's necessarily like a mastermind or anything, or even at all. So she can save one person, and they can name their own replacement. Leave it the same, I've implored. No, so, so choosing then had, your own replacement yeah. was the big twist here, yeah. really, wasn't it? So then we had all the little behind the scenes scramblings, didn't we? And this is when Tola said mm-hmm. he would put up Vivek, but actually he was going to put up Bailey. Do you remember? Oh, was he bluffing? Yeah, he was bluffing. And then <laughs> Anthony was trying to get. Uh, 
Come on. Come on, you t- know what I'm saying. Anthony was trying to get Matt up. Yeah. An- was an- it? No, he, Anthony was trying to get Todd to go. I've got it here. <laughs> Help me out. I've got a new turn oh, of phrase. I just that I... ran out of batteries. <laughs> <after this. laughs> I've got a new turn of phrase that I would like Come to on, adopt. Take over, but please. I won't be able to. But Spicy's said at mm. the end of it, I'm not well right now. <laughs> 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 I like that. And I've heard her say that before. Yeah, she's panicking. I'm not well right with now. The power. I want to be mm. on a bees in that. Mm-hmm. So Tola wants Spicy to use the veto on him. Mm. He wants to put up Bailey. Mm. She says no. No. She says put up Vivek. Yeah. And he agreed. Todd said he was lying. it's going to be Vivek. Wait, Todd? Do I mean Todd? Tola. Tola said Vivek, Lexus or Matt. Mm. <laughs> That's how we start. No, Todd did suggest put up Vivek. <laughs> <laughs> Use it on Vivek, <laughs> Lexus or Matt. If I pick you, because Todd's on the block, right? <laughs> Is yeah, it? she's like. If yeah, I pick, Todd's on the block. Yeah, she's like, if I pick you, you pick Vivek. Okay, she's like trying to get him yeah. to agree to it. Yeah. Bailey comes in. and She's like Tola. He's gonna say my name. Say my name. Say my Todd, name. Todd on my life will put up Vivek. So Bailey was worried that if the exec veto gets used on Tola, it's Tola and Todd on the block. Isn't yeah, it? that Tola that was gonna, she's gonna go Bailey. up. She was she's right. right. She was right. Of course, she's right. She was right. That's why Spicy actually used her brain for once and didn't take Tola off. She took Todd off. But she was getting close to it. Yeah, when it. Anthony came back in for one last talk with her, I was like, oh, shit. Anthony was nervous that Todd yeah. was, was going to pick yeah. him up. Yeah, yeah. And he should have. Yeah, he should have. He should have done. I was thinking, imagine if Todd actually did that. But that he was... didn't. Yeah, but he should have. He went with the bidding of the house and did VFEC. Yeah, but did you think for a second maybe Todd would... Well, yeah. Yeah, I was hoping because he I've would. Because I've probably got more sense of what you should do in this game mm. than he has. Yeah. Todd went, you turned on your friend. This one's for you, Dennis. Hang on. <laughs> when they came back to the table, Arisa, uh, Spicy V said to Arissa, do mm. I have to use it? And oh, Arissa yeah. said, no, Victoria, you no. don't. Victoria. Victoria. Ooh, old school. Government names. <laughs> 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 and I was like, oh, maybe she won't use it at all. Mm. After all that, you've got to use it, haven't you? Spicy knows. As someone who's been here before and as a fan, mm. you don't get the blood veto like no. Kira and not use it. No, you don't. Do you don't. know what I mean? You, your name is sullied mm. for all time. My name is in the... What does the spicy say? Like in the soil or something? Soil. My, game My game is, is soiled. soiled. Oh, like a nappy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, stop it. Stop acting up. Bailey said to Lexus, that was so respectful what you did about leaving the girls. Yeah, it was. To win. Uh, Spicy actually engaged her brain for once and actually did something useful. Have you got anything else that Todd said? I've just got... You turned on your friend. This one's for you, Dennis. No. When Vivek rolled back in his seat. That was cinema. Like he was going to puke. This whole thing with Vivek was the histrionics as he left. What do you think about that? What's histrionics? Histrionics, like melodrama, like sobbing and wailing, and that handshake. Is that like technotronics? Yeah, sort of. That handshake. Is that a real word? Is no, that a it's not. US word? It's something that someone spelled out in the spelling bee. <laughs> <laughs> um, the way Anthony like shook his hand, like like he's like a soldier, like going off to war. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, got over the emotion. It was just didn't re- absolutely ridiculous. Um, and then Vivek. Vivek said, last week I made that move for us. <laughs> Did you feel sorry for him as he... When... Hang on a minute. Are we Hold on. ignoring the fact that they had personal voting stations to do the vote and it no, was face-to-face yeah. face for the first time ever? I'm not ignoring it. You're bringing it up. Yeah, tell me. Did you like the personal voting station? <laughs> <laughs> the ballot box, I think is the word you're looking for. No, yeah, I did no, like it. No, it was it. literally called a personal voting station. <laughs> a personal <Yeah>. voting station? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I would have. <laughs> yeah, I did like it, yeah. Why I not? It too. I like it when people draw a little love heart above the eyes when they evict someone or a sad, little sad face. It was a bit traitors. Like traitors It was a bit traitors yeah. wasn't it? I noticed when they said it was going to be face-to-face noms, Anthony looked like, because mm, he was trying to keep Vivek sweet, wasn't he, up until he went. Mm. And he had to admit, like, all of all of his alliance voted him out. Yeah, well, it was a clean, yeah. clean sweep, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I've written the tears were embarrassing. 
They he got, were. He got a hug and a kiss from Dougie. Yeah, and then, when he came out, I was thinking, is Arissa going to actually hug him? And she did. She said, this is rough, man. Yeah. Rough break. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good TV, though, wasn't it? He deserved yeah, it. Yeah, it was. Uh, did you see my tweet? Vivek was a coward who tried to get in with the in crowd and got used up and spat out. Oof. He did. What a harsh eulogy. Yeah, but I don't think it's true. For someone who's watched the international game, in fact, Vivek might be listening to this. If so, I apologise for my previous statement. But... I felt... How can you... I felt... Okay, I haven't watched, on. like, the early lives, but mm. I felt like he got unfair treatment. mm and was really sort of like singled out early days as a problem. By he a lot was. Of it was made up, wasn't and it? It was unfounded. It was. Uh, was it spicy who made it up? Someone made up some shit about him, and Janine was having a go at him. Do you remember? Yeah. Saying you said some shit yeah, about yeah, him. Yeah, it was yeah. all oh, was made Janine? up. I yeah, it was made up. Yeah. 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 But like, why pick Vivek of all people? But Vivek it felt icky. it felt a bit icky to me. But he should have kept. But icky, why? He was the weak link. It was not icky. Because it could have been anyone, but it just mm. happened to be him. Like, why Vivek of all of them? I thought he was a more valuable player than no, some other people in the house. No, he wasn't valuable. He was just a more coward. More than Todd. A coward who sold out his friend. Well, Todd didn't sell out his friend. He should never have sold out Dennis like that. <laughs> that was uncalled for, as Todd said. Uncalled for. <laughs> no, he for. shouldn't have done, you're right. No. It's like, I don't think, I think you're, I, think I don't he know was what's a, icky about it. I think it. he was a pure-hearted man and he got really unfair treatment. Oh, you got soft in your old age. <laughs> you have. It's, Janine got unfair treatment. She did nothing and got absolutely fucked. Donna got unfair treatment. She did nothing and got fucked. Dennis got unfair treatment. Voted out by his friend who he saved off the block last week. Yeah. Vivek was trying to get in with the in crowd and they were just like, you're nothing. Like trying to get in with the school bullies. was at the point where he had to just say yes to whatever. Yeah. But it didn't have to be that way. He could have kept Dennis in there and they could have become... Oh, they could have risen to... Yeah. They could have recruited a couple of other people. They should have... Yeah, he should... He fucked up. He He got what he he deserved. He did fuck up. But I think he got some unfair treatment. No. And I, I, I hope that he doesn't look back on Big Brother with regret. No, uh, I mean, I think he, I think he put his hands up to his game, didn't he, when he left, and he knew that where his game went wrong with evicting Dennis. I'm sure in his interview or whatever, he'll be like his interviews. Are, I don't do they even bother it's anymore. On TikTok, not. is it? I don't know. <laughs> do you even get told to go watch the full interview on TikTok? Probably not. Anymore? I don't think there is one. But it, you know, uh, no, nah, <laughs> fuck him. Right, episode yeah, he fifteen. Said he, he said he regrets voting out Dennis because he really had my back. Yeah, but as they say. Yeah. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Oh, God, I've heard that before. <laughs> um, so, the HOH competition is... <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Is it... Wait, I'm sorry. Oh. Is sh- it acceptable to do the someone's always watching with Arissa? Oh, Vivek I liked that. that. So that's that the showed the sh- I, I enjoyed that. I was waiting for Matthew to do it, but he was <laughs> too busy was, staring at that's the... That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Arissa's not been going, wow, enough this season. <laughs> Wow. Um, <laughs> okay, so... Uh, oh, this is a turn up for the books. Jack, my boyfriend, oh. said he likes Anthony now. What do you think about that? <laughs> Why? He said, I li- he said he's a good player. and he's, Probably what? likes the feet. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he said he's a good player and he's a, he's an arsehole, but he likes well, watching him. Don't you think it would cause it lose something if he went? He's like someone to love to hate, I think, a bit. You like that player that you want to hate yeah i don't hate him i think that he's got a power mm. over these people but i don't which... think he's that powerful anymore but not, somehow, not what he was it's not what he was these returning ago. players somehow are spell binding because they're mesmerizing that's what janine said about him she said when he talks to you he's mesmerizing the mist i'm in this weird place with dougie where i'm like not dougie well, poutine puppy, if you will. <laughs> Dougie Licious. Yeah, Dougie Licious. Give him his full government name. Um, <laughs> it's like, are you attractive? Oh, or no. Are you not? I feel like he was more attractive his own season. He's lost I, it now. No. I no? Mean, as. Who was it that said this on the start of BB Cam 5? Uh, Is it that you do one season and you come back more attractive? Oh, yeah. As the players walked in, I think it was yeah. Dimitri's. 
Mm. Oh yeah, you're right. Dimitri you really was. I mean, BB Can Five was the pinnacle. I mean, Ica definitely came back more attractive than she was in season three. She had uh, a completely different face. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm thinking, is it that? Is it that effect? Oh, I'm looking down on you for fancy then. Like when Ty comes back. Mm. What's oh he gonna look? What's he no. Gonna look like? <laughs> which hold on? Which one? Neither, Tishon. thanks. Oh, no, oh not, Tishon or no, Ty? No, Ty, Ty, not Tishon. Oh, or well, Tishon was attractive to me. Ty is not attractive to me. Oh, I don't want either of them to come back. <laughs> either of them. Talking about Tishon. Yeah. He's, he he does know what he's doing on did, the socials. He's always he, flaunting his body. Did he come out yet? Or... <laughs> <laughs> what? Just, asked, no, just wondering. No, he didn't. Maybe one day. <laughs> 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 I think I haven't followed him. I've unfollowed a lot of people. These big rural people, I just can't do it. Unless it's Jason Moore, I'm not interested. Dan says this. It's like he won't like celebrate like micro celebrities. He doesn't want to follow them like, after yeah. the fact. On a BB on Blast account, it's fine. But on my own, oh, feed, we've got them all on there. Oh god, yeah. I want them all on we there. We've got what's the name? The Australian girl. Mm. Who's that? Of the US Big Brother. Oh, Veronica. No. <laughs> Hold on. DJ. Oh, uh, Bowie Jane. Even following Bowie Jane over oh, there. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Bowie Jane. The only real, the only house that's I follow on my actual account is Jason Roy, Janelle and Kayla, I think. I think that's it. Probably Mickey. Oh, I used to follow Drew off BB Australia, but I think I even unfollowed him. Cause Does he even have an account anymore? Uh, I d- maybe, I'd, yeah, I don't I know if I actually rid. unfollowed him, but yeah, I did get pissed off with him. Oh, and Tim, I do follow. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to follow him. Got to follow the great. Yeah, the great. The Mount, my Mount Rushmore is different to <laughs> their one. Yeah, listeners, email us. What's your Big Brother Mount yeah. Rushmore? For, what, how many people are on Mount Rushmore? Four? I is don't it know. four or five? We don't know, so tell I've us. I've only ever seen it on Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't. I'm, Jack's making watch the Simpsons now. It's fucking annoying. I caramba. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dolt. <laughs> Um, don't ask me I'm just a girl oh it's so annoying anyway anyway right come on let's get back what on track what episode are we on we're on episode 15 but they're doing like a bit of the flashback to what happened during the exec oh, veto do, 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 thing do, do, do. Anyway, we don't care about do. that Anthony uh, is pissed off that Spicy I haven't got any notes until the HOH okay, so anyway good. I'm going to An- get a chocolate egg Anthony is pissed <laughs> off that Spicy isn't on his side the one thing he couldn't control He's got the hump because he didn't get his own way. A spicy will not be controlled by him. Where are these unmarked eggs from? What are these? M&S. Oh. Yeah, they're good. They're just chocolate, though. They're not anything else. Unmarked. <laughs> <laughs> Poison. Like those Poison eye, blue. Like those eye drops <laughs> that I added you with. Um, <laughs> look, do, do you feel a bit sorry for Goose that neither of his targets Goosey, went Goosey home? Gander. He put two people up, went m- mad with HOH itis, yeah. and neither of his targets went home. It was chaotic, wasn't it? Yeah. And then had Spicy V out in the hot tub era, mm. calling him a loser the next day. Do you feel slightly sorry for him? Slightly. I don't. Um, oh. <laughs> the Toddinator said... You he led me into that. The Toddinator said he's been playing dumb, but he said, did you see Anthony's face when I got saved? He wasn't happy. Did he? Yeah, and he said, I'll be happy to take him out. I was like, yes, Todd. That's what we want to hear. Isn't he acting like he's working with Anthony? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think Todd's with Bailey. Oh. Yeah. So um, then we have the HOH, which was basically shuffleboard, which we played, but with milkshakes. Mm. This was had Remind a bit... me of the mint Judah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it was like that, yeah. <laughs> I like this comp. It's kind of fun, isn't it? Someone slid that milkshake off the end of the table and knocked mm. the strawberry off, didn't they? <laughs> They did actually. Is that yeah. fair then afterwards? Yeah, I don't know. Was it in the way? Why were they individually calibrated? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Was what in the way? Uh, the strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> it was lighter without it. <laughs> um, were some people trying to throw it? I was confused. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so, anyway, Avery, our favourite, won HOH. Oh, oh God. Woo! Let's go. The only thing I was happy She's about. She's very much let's go energy. Oh, God, she is. Casey. The only thing that 
I was happy about was because she's in the girls' alliance. I knew Spicy wasn't going to go home. I knew Bailey wasn't going to go home. Our main character. So, yeah, so I was okay with that. Do you feel um, sorry for Bailey? Because she's on borrowed time, isn't she? I know, she's not in the main girls' alliance. But she doesn't know it. She yeah, but she I is. do think she's got Todd as a bit of insulation. They're quite friendly. She needs to work harder on it. She's trusting too much in the girls. I know, I know. But I think things could still move about and splinter quite a bit. Nothing is set in stone that much. Oh, my eyes are so sore. Um, but it's, it looks like Spicy and Anthony are for real, apart from nah, they're, they're fractured. I don't think they're for no? real. No, I don't. You, for what, real, for real. Nah, they're <laughs> going to turn on each other. Who's for real, for real? Hundo. Uh, <laughs> it's America, isn't it? Fuck those. Foul day. <laughs> <laughs> it's naming alliances. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't even fucking remember who that was. I can't remember what a series, no. last series, last series I think. But I can't remember who was in last Me series either. off the top of my head. Who won it? Felicia. I have no, I have no idea. Oh, Felicia, yeah, she was good. Oh, Jack. Oh, Jesus. That's why I've forgotten. It's so boring. Um, anyway, winners decided to dress Avery in a hideous red jacket and uh, Walter, Walter White's trousers. Anthony is saying the girls shouldn't hang out together. And the girls are like, oh, what is he to come in here and say we shouldn't hang out together? Like, mind your own business. Well, then they're like, you're hanging out with the boys. Mm. Avery kept going, oh, I'm going to do a big move. Boys. I'm going to do a big... I'll bring my girl. <laughs> and we can play <laughs> and, uh, and shake it around. Avery kept going, oh, I'm going to do a big move. I'm going to do a big move. I thought, bitch, I ain't going to do no big move. Don't mm. talk shit. Um, Spicy and Kayla were trying to convince her to get Matt out, which we're ha- I was happy about. But Avery was like, oh, I'm best friends with Matt. Yeah, best friends. But it turns out... Never seen you speak to him before. Apparently they are, though. Bollocks. Did you see that on the live feed? No, it's not in the show. No. (laughs) They're getting emotional, aren't they? Yeah, but he was just like, oh, she's saying I'm my best friend. He's like, I don't even like her. He didn't You made that bit up. No, but he did. He went to Anthony and goes, oh, she's saying she's my best friend. He's like... He was dismissive of it. (laughs) He was. Uh, Anyway... Were they? Ha- oh, I don't know. Anyway, Avery in her utility vest put up Tyler and Elijah. See my tweet about that. Either of these can go. No, what did you say? When you got the nom <laughs> ceremony at seven, but you're selling cookies at eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, why did she have the scout uh, neckerchief ne- no, on? Down, like girl guy. Is she a girl scout? No. <laughs> why was she wearing that? Why does she need all those pockets? But then you've turned out like this today, so I'm wondering if I need more pockets. What's with all the pockets? I've got a bag that has a lot of pockets on, and I always forget what I put in the pockets, and mm. I always lose things and think I've not got things with there me. There is such a thing as too many pockets. Yeah, I think there is. My trousers is an, is an example. Mm. Have you actually got anything in your pocket? I'm just feeling Gaz's yeah. pockets right now, listeners. Frisking me. No, I took them out. Oh. oh. This is where I put my keys. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, mm-hmm. headphones in this one. Mm-hmm. Perhaps the oh, tissue a in here. a little flat. <laughs> you, you put a little condom or something in there. You have to be careful with too many pockets because you end up washing things, don't you? Oh, tissues. It's mm. dangerous and you get the fluff. Oh. oh or the, the worst. Ah, or the change rattling around in the washing machine. As long as it's got a zip, mm. you don't want that change getting out. No. And we'll rupture your drum. God. <laughs> so then we've got... <laughs> Jesus. So now we're on episode 17. Are Fucking we? Hell. Oh my God, this is the last episode. Fucking hell, we should get an award. You didn't even mention the tequila soda and the white sangria they got given. We should get an award for doing this so quick. White sangria. What the hell is that? Tequila I don't like. That's why I didn't mention sangria's that. Sangria's normally made out of red wine. Hold on, what? Did they have a party or something? Were they drinking? That's when Spicy v. Twerked in Goose's face. Oh, not the other one. was that when Spicy was going to Todd? Oh, I yeah, love Yeah, drunk you. gaming. Oh, yeah. We were saying, did Spicy have a bit of a thing for Todd? Because it seemed like she was sort of flirting with him a little bit, we thought. She was trying to prove push on him that he is indebted to her. Mm. And Todd said, oh, I wouldn't shed a tear if I had to put Anthony up. Oh, that's yeah, quite a good did. Todd impression. The more I drink, the no, better. I fucking t- wouldn't shed a fucking tear. Oh, oh you may think I'm tick, but I'm <laughs> biding my time. <laughs> I'm going to put Anthony up quick smart. <laughs> <laughs> Spicer was like, well, I can't get rid of Anthony, yeah. but you can. Yeah. That, you Do think my those, bidding. You think Anthony and Spicy are going to be the final two? You must be mad. I don't know. She said it in the diary room. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. One's going to cut the other's throat, I can tell you. And I'm here for it. So now on episode 17. All of my jokes have been... What? Left on the cutting room floor. Well, do you want to go back to them? Yeah, because Avery got her um, Wendy delivered by Erin. <laughs> Not that Erin. <laughs> Who was Erin? A hey girlfriend. Guys, this is Erin. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Sorry, because of been COVID. A, there's been a virus. <laughs> Irish now. Oh, to be sure, <laughs> there's, there's a, there's hey a guys, pandemic. This is Erin. Oh, get your coat. <laughs> Shout it on Brooke. You can leave last because you're the worthy winners. <laughs> <laughs> there's a pot of gold waiting for you. <laughs> and we'll never invite you back because we never want to remember this series. Yeah. <laughs> and lest we forget Chris and his mum. <laughs> oh, they give us such a laugh. In the Wendy's room. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. If anyone Irish is listening to this, I wholly apologise. It's absolutely We've disgraceful. We've got some Irish listeners. Fuck me, I'm so sorry. Right. Look, we can go back to your jokes if you like, but I think we should just press on and then go back if needs be. What do you okay. think? Okay, yeah, let's press on. Episode 17. Arissa has been mummified, as my comment. She's wearing a bandeau sort of dress. Do you know what a bandeau dress is? No. Okay, never mind. She looked no, good. No, I need to know. It's like... Uh, a bit oh, of material wrapped around it. you. Yeah, like wrapped around, around, around. But it around. had got tiny straps. Yeah, it did. And I said, if the straps are that small... Yeah. Get rid of them. You don't need What's them. What's the point of yeah. them? Well, it was just a bit of extra I didn't like. I didn't like this look. Didn't you? No, because I didn't like the straps being there. I like the colours. Just have a boob tube dress mm. if you're going to have little straps mm. like that, no? Well, I understand as a boob haver, you might want a bit of safety with the straps. <laughs> Otherwise, you could end up being in a spicy V situation. <laughs> I, what I'm going to say is mm. the, the stylist mm-hmm. the, needs uh-uh. firing. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> because. Uh-uh. No. You've already upset her. Hear me out. Keep quiet. No, so it's stop a, before it's you a, say something you regret. It's a Hollywood theme, right? Oh, yeah, you're right. So yeah. why does Arissa not look mm. Hollywood every day? Every should be in episode. gold or monochrome. It should be Met Gala every mm, week. Mm. They haven't got that budget. I'm talking Bjork Swan dress. I'm talking, <laughs> I'm talking gold body suits mm. sculpted. Mm. I'm talking high mm. high ticket price. They're talking Not a strappy winners. dress off winners. Mm. No. <laughs> they need Gary to come in and... and Gary would be a great... Yeah. Gary would be a great stylist for Arissa. Mm. We need a... Or a drag queen. Yeah. I think we need more occasion. We need a more commotion in mm-hmm. Arissa's um, looks. There has been some good ones, like the pa- the black pantsuit one was quite good, and um, the orange puffy sleeves. I like. But you're right; it's not yeah. really Hollywood. I feel like for the final, it'll be an event. Yeah. But these, like the other thing, is like the the outside set is quite drab. It's grey. Mm. It's like a wall of a studio, or whatever. Mm. Just put Arissa in some block colour and she will pop. Yeah, it feels like Arissa's like a bit more like summer She's dressing. She's fading into the background. Like, like a bit more Julie Chen than Arissa. Oh my God. That, no. <laughs> you said I was offensive. <laughs> You've crossed the line. <laughs> well, I was thinking because the summer wear that Julie Chen wears, like it's going to a summer wedding. Arissa's been yeah. given a bit of that vibe. Like this dress wouldn't look out of place at a summer wedding, would it? No, it I'm wouldn't. I'm not sure. No, it would Need wouldn't. a shawl, wouldn't you? A what? A shawl or something. <laughs> Don't tell how hot it was. In Canada, you would. You need that pink or white fluffy jacket that you wear in the back garden. <laughs> I like those. <laughs> They're nice, aren't they? I'd like one of those. I just, yeah. Mm. Well, I'm Arissa, saying, let's, you... le- let's lean in. I'm saying to the stylist, it's mm. nothing to do with Arissa. We love Arissa. Arissa, if you want to come on and have I'm a I'm telling the stylist, okay. lean into the theme. Yeah. You've been given the theme. Mm. I mean, hell. Like, mm. it's movies. Have a yeah. dress as a Jedi for one week. Or, like, Princess Leia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Arissa's probably like, why the fuck does Gaz want me dressed as movie yeah, characters? Yeah, no, I agree with you. You know, like, yeah, you're right. the white, yeah. floaty 70s yeah, and the Princess buns. Leia look. <laughs> the bun. Yeah. Arissa would rock, rock that. <laughs> Arissa's never speaking you know, to like, us again. You know, like, the know. Bond woman. Yeah. The Bond girls. Yeah. like. That Ursula one that's covered Andrews. in gold. <laughs> like, you can oh, make, yeah. gold, make Arissa gold. Yeah. Okay. I would play more with it mm-hmm. if I was your stylist, Arissa. That's mm. what I'm saying. Well, these people ain't even got the imagination to bring back Marsh of the Moose, so... <laughs> uh, I mean, which we'll come on to. Yeah, a couple of ding-dongs instead. Uh, 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 okay, we need to talk mm. about this. So, um... <laughs> So, yeah, I don't care who goes out of these people. Did they actually tell Lexus that they were going to put up Matthew or not? It wasn't really clear from the edit. This is one thing that I've not liked about... So, Dobby, I'm 16. 17. This is one thing I've not liked about the 
not having live feed, not that I actually give a shit, but I feel like a lot of things are unclear and we'll never know the actual answer. Like, did they actually tell Lexus they were going to put up her own boyfriend or was it a blindside? I don't know. No, I don't know either. We don't know. We will never know. I can't know. tell you that. Uh, Anthony was talking in the back garden. He said... I think you've written the wrong number. It's 16. Oh. Or you've, jumped, no. or you've skipped an episode. No, I haven't skipped an episode. I just did 17. Oh, 15. Yeah, you've got 16. the teeth veto in this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's number on. 16. Something's gone wrong. Something's gone something's gone awry. Oh, I need to go back to my old my old notes. <sighs> Come on, you take the reins then. Oh, Tolo is waking up. He's going to do a a little workout to get the blood pumping. Mm. Cut to Victoria saying, "I want chocolate. I want chocolate." <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Spicy is hiding in the toilet in the HOH oh, room with yeah. the snacks. Yes. But nothing, she wanted to hear some bitching, but no bitching was happening, Doesn't happen, it? does it? You no. can't, like, those things are organic. You can't no. build those things. You can't gen, uh, manufacture that. No. Avery's calling out Goose for assuming that he's a pawn. Mm. Goose has sort of agreed to go on the block in Avery's HOH, didn't he? Uh-huh. Assuming he would be a pawn, as has happened in the past. Apparently, rule number one of Big Brother Canada House is... Um, no live feed. <laughs> <laughs> Always check the bathroom. Oh, yeah, that was it. Um, Dougie needs to touch the block. Mm. Spicy in the diary room said, she's more committed to Dougie than mm. the girls. Mm, I don't believe that. Storylining even towards no, us, is she? I don't she? believe that. Spicy and Bailey want Matt to go up, but Avery is considering putting up Dougie. Mm. She is should, she, is but she, she should have done is that. Is she fuck? Is she fuck? Spicy said mm. he would never let you do oh, that. Oh, and Avery didn't like that. Avery was like, well, I'm it's my, HOA. It's my well, choice. Well, she's right. No, he doesn't have a choice. No. It's not his choice. She, I like, she sort of got shirty when Spicy said that. But she's right, though. It's your fucking She's HOA. right, do but you why didn't she do it? Because she is a pussy, that's why. Now she's switching to Target. Tola, mm-hmm. of course. Mm-hmm. Anyway, the POV is sponsored by... Sonic Air. Sonic Air. have seen this before. Sonic what Air. Is it Sonic Air. Sonic Air. Or is it Sonic Air? Sonic Air. <laughs> Sonic Air. Yeah, it's only one Sonic I'm interested in. And they go ding 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 ding. Is that Sonic? Mario, for fuck's sake. <laughs> What's Sonic? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> the Sonic theme. Yeah. <laughs> I've got my games confused. Oh, yeah. That's when he's hitting the ring. There's only one hedgehog, as that advert says. Uh, but what about that new film where they made him look ugly? Well, they changed the design. He ugly. Yeah, but it still didn't look good, did it? Bit... He looked better. Mm, There's a controversy still. this week in the video games world. Is did it? you know? No. So BAFTA... Um, gave an award for like the most legendary video game character mm-hmm. by mm. public vote mm. and it was won by Lara Croft. Oh right. And people were saying like the votes the, there wasn't enough votes for it to like be <laughs> decisive and like there's no way that Lara Croft is more iconic than Mario and Sonic. <laughs> and what do you think? Depends who's voting, I suppose. If it's perverts who fancy Lara Croft. And it then... probably was the Tomb Raider fans yeah. who like rigged the vote. I mean Tomb Raider did used to be massive. But then yeah. it used to be is the key word. But then would you bother voting for Mario? Do you know what I mean? He's like ubiquitous, but you wouldn't. Do you know what icon. I mean? They're all icons in a way. Yeah, in their own are, way. but you know, we shouldn't pit them against each other. Stop pitting people against each other. Yeah. Let them all be a star in their own field. <laughs> <laughs> their field for floating rings. Do you know what time they did this competition? The uh, t- the uh, VO competition, the yeah. No. What uh, time of the day was it? Two thirty. <laughs> <laughs> can't believe you fucking cannot believe you fell for that. Classic. Absolute classic. We had to st- <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, did they tell us the time it started? <laughs> Oh, that's the <laughs> happiest moment of the podcast ever. <laughs> right, they had to, like, stack 25 teeth. I feel like I've seen this before. You know where they had to stack 25 teeth, don't you? No. Because we've got 25 teeth in the Oh, mouth. do we? Yeah. Oh. Well, I don't. I've got one missing. I've got a crown. <laughs> <laughs> 25 teeth. Actually, it's one of the fattest. Isn't that a bit surprising? Oh, uh, why? Well, oh, it's an odd number. Yeah. Oh, so what's the, what's the haps? <laughs> <laughs> what are you making it up <laughs> yeah is this a joke is yes it? Uh, what is it how many teeth do we have in the mouth yeah 32 oh 
Why 25 did they choose for the competition? Ah, oh, hold on, you're confusing you, I me. I convinced you we had 25 teeth. Imagine we had an uneven amount of teeth. Yeah, and I believed you. <laughs> well, some people do just have like one tooth at the front, no, no, like a baby. Just one, no, just that like one tooth. Yeah, maybe when you're teething. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so stupid. <laughs> well, we both made each other look stupid now, which isn't that difficult, let's be honest. <laughs> um, and also, you get 5k if you win. So oh, that's, that's like, good. fish that tooth out of the gunk. Yeah. The big old toothbrushes they had were good, weren't they? Looks, uh-huh. Looked very realistic, like accurate. If you like. Um, Tola won that, and mm. the five grand. Mm, I didn't want it this way. Todd is worried that he's going up. Mm. Bailey said, 1,000% you're not going up. 1,000%. Mm. Mm. Did you not go up? can't remember. No. Hold on. What? This annoys me about Bailey. When they win the competition, they just yeah. go check. There's not even a button to press. And they just do the ding, 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 ding sound effect. Oh, I like that. No, it's cheap. We need to press the button. Tola shouted check so loud, I was worried he was yeah. going to knock over his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. It's cheap. Cheap and nasty. Anyway, that's what I've got to say about it. Anthony said, who's going to flip to save Goose? In mm. what world? <laughs> In yeah. what world is anyone going to flip to save Goose? I mean, you've got a point. V said, there are many reasons to keep Goose. This mm. is when they had their little... Like, oh, emo- I like, like this. Heightened emotions running. Did you see the way Anthony was looking at her like this? narrowed eyed you know what no, I mean I like, didn't. You, you could tell he just wanted to <laughs> stand down you, you could tell he just wanted to knock a block off but he was like trying to like be the nice guy do you know what I mean <laughs> and Spicy like stood up to, like he said something to her and she was just like no you ain't gonna speak to me like that I liked it I mm. like that tension between it's like seeing two old balls go at it wasn't it <laughs> <laughs> past their prime but they've still got a bit of fight in them <laughs> wounded dinosaurs <laughs> <laughs> knocking heads into each other. <laughs> <laughs> Spicy is so mad at Kayla. Mm. She sucks sometimes, she said. Yeah, she said Kayla is weak. Kayla is annoyed. She really wants Matt on the block, mm. but Avery doesn't want to put him up. Avery said, I care, <laughs> I care about you guys to a room full of girls, but... Mm-hmm. It's my HOH. Don't, don't, get, <laughs> don't get me on to it. Don't make me go there. It's been rumbling don't for weeks. Don't make me fucking go there. Well, listeners, what do you guys. think? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think about saying you guys to a room full Why of girls? Why are you going there? Because it's been my opportunity. I've been fucking waiting and this is it. Proven, you can say it to a group of girls. You can, but make sure they're ignorant as fuck and it's microaggression. <laughs> Proven. <laughs> Listeners, just, let us know your thoughts. Just, Do you um, say hi, hi, you guys, to a mixed group or a group full of girls? If so, you're a prick. <laughs> no, you're just using normal conventions of language. No, you've just not evolved yet, but one day you'll be as woke as me. Look, don't worry, I'm going back up into the canopy <laughs> later. I'm devolving. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in the sea before you know it. <laughs> you'll be an amoeba. <laughs> Walking backwards into the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Little scales growing out. <laughs> anyway, okay. until there's another word we're going to use, guys. Yeah, uh, all or every, Y'all. Every, Y'all. everyone. Or just. Uh, hey, everyone. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Hi, all. Hi, Dr. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> hi, all. Or just hi. Hi, all. Can you, yeah, hi, get all. us some more drinks? Hey, you all. <laughs> oh, shut Here's up. Lot. Hello, folks. <laughs> There's plenty of options. Just be more creative. <laughs> Just be more imaginative. Anyway, Avery was telling Matt he might go up, and he, this was when they were saying all this best friend bollocks. Um, and then Matt was like spiraling, and then Anthony said to Matt, "Go up." Why did he go to? And play Matt, at the guilt. Matt went to Anthony yeah. for like salvation. Yeah, because Matt ain't got a brain of his own. That's why. Has it? Is Anthony now like the new Messiah? Yeah, well, he has been since the minute What's he walked in. What's a pariah? In. It's someone everyone hates, <laughs> like Avery or Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop doing this right above our microphone. Oh, it's fine. God, you're living on the edge. Um, trying to destroy the evidence of your bigotry. And now... <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Mm. Um, Come on, what? 
Hot of chocolate is... Oh, <laughs> is, I thought it was some better ones. It's spicy Avery and Kayla, yeah? I thought it was some better names than hot of chocolate. Yeah. Boiling chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> roasting. No, I thought it was some cool ones, but I'd never write them down. Oh, hot of chocolate is shit. Molten chocolate, there you go. That's a good one. That's chocolate, a good one. lava. Stop throwing that up in the air. Okay. You're making a noise. Um, Anthony said to Matt, "You have to push Gil with yes, a big heart." That was it. And Matt really took the oh, brief, yeah. Matt was brief going, and ran with it. I'm a very nice guy, but once you cross me, blah 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 blah. Shut up. To who? To Anthony. He said it like three times. But like, then he yeah, went to Avery and drew her into a big hug. I thought he actually did quite a good job there. But it obviously didn't work. He promised to never put her up, mm. and he told her how much he loves her. It was a real guilt trip, wasn't it? Yeah, best friends. They're best friends, apparently. Besties for life. With friends like these, who no, the, enemies. The pov. Good jo- job you remembered that episode, because I've done a fuck up in my notes there. Wrote it down. Um, <laughs> there was a pov next. <laughs> the POV ceremony. Oh. Tola used the veto on himself. Mm-hmm. Avery was crying, mm. and then she put up Matty as if it was like some mm. huge deal. Matty. Matty from Big BBUK. Matty from Broken Hill. <laughs> Matt from Broken Hill. So then we had, and he said, what did he say? A- LIA know. or something. Oh, on the ding dongs. He said his native cultural tongue. thing. I don't know what it was. Anyway, we do respect his culture. We just don't respect his annoying personality. Um, oh, yeah. And Anthony said, that's when we catapult them out the game next week. And he said it with some vigour. And Lexa said, I will choose you That'd over there. That would be a good there. choice, wouldn't it? Mm. Just cut catapult them, over them out. The wall. That would be good. I, I would. Oh, cannonball. That could work too. Faster than a cannonball. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Lexa said, I will choose you over them to Matt. Big Brother Brain. Right I'll there. Choose you. I Lexa. Choose, 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 choose you. But oh, that... no, the Simpsons. But. <laughs> infiltrating my brain. You can see the exact moment his heart breaks. Um, <laughs> Uh, but that's a lie, isn't it? She wouldn't, and she didn't. But you won't, and you don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wow, well, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> two people come in. Can you help me out? Because I ain't got a fucking clue. The ding dongs. Who the hell are these people? Just a couple of ding dongs. <laughs> How do you not remember? I, the ding-dongs? I have no recollection of either of these people. Their faces. Put their your names. little finger to mine. Ding I dong. I remember that. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, they both well, had face transplants because I didn't recognise <laughs> either of them. What the fuck? I was honestly like, well, who the hell are I'll these tell you people? why it's confusing. Tell me. Because Olivia is the main character. Right. But Alejandra mm. took the main role mm. in the appearance. Right. So Olivia's the funniest one. But I don't remember Olivia or Alejandra. It, like, it literally, no recollection of either of them. What about Ding Dongs? Nothing. Ding Dongs, I remember, yeah. That, she, those were the Ding Dongs. Olivia was a bit blonder at the time, I think. Okay. Uh, what honestly, series was it? I no. thought my... Bra- they said it was season six, Anthony's season. So oh. it makes sense, because if it's that Pretty Boy season, that's one that I've not rewatched, and all the others pretty much I've rewatched. Mm. I never rewatched that one because it was so bad. Who else is in that one? Kira? Yeah. Adam Pike? Remember, yeah. Cause, the Files? Yeah, because remember, Anthony was towering over Kira at one point, intimidating them. Do you remember? Vaguely. Yeah. And, like, just, yeah, just being belittling. The Ding Dongs weren't really... They were comedy they weren't relief. They were a thing, were they? They were a thing, but they weren't, like, going anywhere. No. I, uh, why bring the Ding Dongs in? When, when you could have Marsha. Thank you. Because Trevor Boris is busy working on Drag Race. Oh, anyone could go, hey, hey, Ding How Dong. much money does Trevor want? <laughs> just throwing it in. Or just get AI to do it. You don't even need him anymore. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Chat GDP, that shit. <laughs> Come on. How many thousands of $10,000 from this person? 10000 mm. Give Ke- um, Trevor, <laughs> Kevin, give Trevor $10,000 yeah. from Skip. Mm. To come in and do Marsha for a day. $10,000? That's what he needs. Give him 500 quid. (laughs) (laughs) We don't deserve a world 
devoid of Marsha the Moose. No. And you can't give us Ding Dongs sponsored by Samsung Ga- Galaxy <laughs> S24. <laughs> last time we saw Marsha, she was with Kevin Jacobs. That was the last time we saw her. And before that, we hadn't seen her for a good few years. You ain't seen her again. Because if you remember, she'd been off on her travels, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? She'd gone to the meat factory. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Marsha, Marsha is glue now. Hey, let me out. Ah, uh, this is bollocks. Have you got anything to say about the secret mission? Because I they had not... to hide the water bottles, uh. deliver the hard truths. That was a bit like Chanel going around giving the backhanded compliments oh, in yeah. BBUK last mm-hmm. year. Uh, Spicy V told Matt that he smells to the point that he took another shower. Mm-hmm. Told her that he's short. I don't know what else. Then she had to confess to having a secret nap place and she told Matt where it was. Oh, Is yeah. Is it Matt? Yeah. She heard, look, it's the place where I sleep and he gets, she's like, try it out. And he gets down there in front of her, oh, yeah, it's quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> like in weirdo. It's not bad. Mm. And then um, Big Brother gav- gathered them together and said, someone's been taking secret naps mm-hmm. and this is a rule oh, break. Oh, and Bailey got angry. And... Everyone's on slot. That was mm. quite fun. Yeah. To sort of wind them up a little bit. Uh, secret task. But yeah, the ding dongs. Mm. No, the ding dongs was a no for me. <laughs> <laughs> Big time. The ding dang do. <laughs> Elijah kept going frick again, which is upsetting me. Is he a school teacher or something? That's the only He's possible. A, prob- a Mormon by sounds of oh, it. Oh, yeah. It's just like fricking this and something else he said. I was just like, just grow the fuck up. Um, Arissa said something which made me laugh Not here. Grow the frick up. Sorry. <laughs> Apologies, listeners. Arissa said, there's t- too much happening in the house that we can't fit into the show. I thought, oh, there's a good solution for that. But sadly, you're throwing that idea yeah. out the window. But she didn't even mention, she didn't no. dare mention the digital no. daily. She said, Mm-hmm. exclusive clips on the website I was just like okay Arissa perhaps don't say things like this it's probably not the best thing to <laughs> not to annoy people I did think it was funny though um, Todd is trying to make it look like he's daydreaming what is he Daydream. secretly doing plotting a, a <laughs> devious plan who, who was that? Todd I'm trying to make it look like I'm daydreaming is that what you said? yeah <laughs> why am I not tuned into Todd's comedy yeah edit? Todd's good Spicy and Anthony... Oh, this is where they're having a marital. Uh, Anthony is giving her a very intense stare. Spicy V is going to have to soil her game. This is when they were like going, well, you need to get rid of the person on your side. When you need to get rid of the person oh, on your side. you're with the... Most of the time, mm. you're with the girls. Mm. Most of the time, you're with the guys. Mm. Most of the time, you're with the girls. <laughs> most of the time, you're with the guys. <laughs> How long did that go on for? It's like, am I, am I glitching here? Yeah. <laughs> um, I liked it. Dougie was like, I'm boosting your name oh, yeah. around them. She was like, what do you think I'm doing? Yeah, they You do, were supposed to be on the block. They do both stick up for each other in their own separate group. But is that a fuck up to say you were supposed to be on the block? Oh, Does yeah. that show Avery's hand that she was considering putting Dougie on the block? Mm, that's true. And also, uh, an earlier point that Spicy said that I didn't read out was she said to Anthony, oh, sometimes I forget that I'm still working with you. I thought, I don't think that's a good thing to say to him. Yeah. <laughs> well, they had that conversation in the bedroom. She's yeah. like, are we still... Yeah. yeah. I was just like, no, I don't think that's a good thing to say. <laughs> Lex is getting pissed. Mm. Did you notice what was happening Does here? that mean annoyed or drunk? Annoyed. Did right. you notice what was happening in this conversation? Lexus and Anthony. No. They were both vaping. Oh, I did not Yeah. yeah what do you think about this? No, I remember they say. What do you think about this? Well, the vapes are very bad. Mm. But don't... Because on BB UK they wouldn't show people vaping. So I'm surprised they'd show it on BB Canada. Yeah, you're right, actually. You have they to go, must have... You have to, I must have to vape in the smoking they area. They must have had to because they were talking about game of person game information mm. and obviously they've not got a single person i guess you're not allowed to smoke in the house and that's probably why they're vaping do you think that's a good point mm. we've never seen them smoke on bb can they have not... we've seen the smoke in the day of it back in the day I have think. we yeah i think probably kenny brain because remember when shit, people like that we, smoke. when we spoke Villains, pop we, and porn. when we spoke to tully yeah she said you weren't ever allowed to smoke in BB Australia. No, Big Brother Australia, I don't think you ever have. I'd like to know that about Canada. If you yeah. do know about that, tell us. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, sure they did use well to smoke, but I reckon now they're probably only allowed to vape because it's not toxic to other people, is it? But it's still not a good thing to be 
kind of promoting. But the... do you know that vaping can really fuck people up? Oh, I know it can. You can be in hospital. I watched it. The, I caught kids, the, especially kids. I caught the end of, a, and that's the problem mm. because they're like marketed in like, mm-hmm. and in fact theirs were like bold, like blue, pink, yeah. strawberry lemonade flavors, mm-hmm. all this shit. Oh, Jack's got all those ones like cherry coke and shit like that. <sighs> Stupid, I know. Red Bull flavor. Yeah. Um, I was watching the end of a documentary about it. It was with Joel Domit, I think. Mm. No, Jordan North. <laughs> Similar. Same thing. Um, <laughs> and this woman that was being interviewed, like from vaping, she'd got this COPD. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some like breathing yeah, condition. Yeah, my mum's boyfriend's got that. It's basically terminal, though. Mm-hmm. But you don't know how long you're going to last. No. She's like, you know, it could be like two years, it could be 20 years mm. from the vape. Yeah. That shit is dangerous. Yeah, it is dangerous. I've tried, have you ever tried a vape? I'm sure you haven't. No. I tried Jack's one because he was like, see what, you know, Oh, I have try vaped it. something else. It, it gave me, <laughs> yeah, me too, DMT in my case. Um, but I tr- tried do, doing just normal vape and mm. it gave me such a head rush, but in a bad way. Like it just made me feel sick. Uh, but I can see how you might get into it. Do you know what I mean? I'm not into, I'm not into smoking anyway, but it, I can see how kids might get into it kind of thing. And it's just fuck knows what it's doing to your body. Oh my God, I'm about to sound like such an old man. But there's like a generation of vapors out there who yeah. are addicted. Yeah, no, there like, is, yeah. You can go on the tube or the train mm. and you can see them, especially like kids in groups of like, you know, yeah. like 16, 17 yeah. years, and they'll be like, like yeah, constantly yeah. puffing yeah. away on it. It's like You see it even at gigs, don't you? People vaping just inside yeah. gigs and stuff. Yeah, it's fucked. It's a new... It's the new smoking. Yeah, it is the new smoking, yeah. And, and it's it made the... sense as, like, a transition off of smoking. Yeah. But now it's the new normal. It's the thing that people pick up. But even with the flavours and everything, it's almost like the new Alka Pops as well. Oh, it is like that. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, like yeah, a combination yeah, yeah. between the two, which is perfect for kids. All the different flavours, and it's naughty, and it's sort of like smoking. It's like... And you can buy them <laughs> online for, like, you know, a tenner for free or whatever. I was in the corner shop, right? God, now I feel old. <laughs> I was in the corner shop and this guy was in there and he was, like, looking at, like, the vape flavours or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh, boss man. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get that one? Yeah. This yellow one? Yeah. Luscious lemon. <laughs> And he was like, well, the guy was like, what? He was like, yeah, the luscious, luscious, <laughs> luscious lemon. He was like so embarrassed having, yeah, having, to, have, say having to say luscious lemon. That's why he said the yellow one. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> and then the guy like tricked him about the price for yeah. some reason. It's uh-huh. a weird interaction to watch. He was like, yeah, it's like this much. He was like, what? <laughs> did he still buy it though? He did buy it. Uh, he bought the luscious, the luscious, the luscious lemon. lemon. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the problem. It's like, smoke it well. Actually, it's the same thing. Smoking, back in the day, like, you, you could advertise it. Mm. It had, like, it was desirable you. imagery yeah. behind it. And vapes is the same. Like, it's made to be desirable. Yeah. And now, on smoking, you've got to put all the fucking yeah. pictures of lungs that Eyeballs are, like... and shit. Yeah, fucked up. Mm. But vaping hasn't come to that yet. No. But vaping also has its own problems. Mm. At what but, point are they going to have to start making it? I think that it's a new thing, right? They're going to have to take the branding off? I'm not sure. Yeah, they're going to not have the different flavours. Are they? It's just going to be a plain flavour, but not yet. Because mm. it is the all the flavours that are more attra- <coughs> attractive to children, aren't they? Yeah. But I'd, I don't think vaping will ever have, like, the cachet that smoking does. Like, smoking now, even in a film when people are smoking, don't think it looks kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> mm. it, it, especially if it's, in, like, an older film, like, 90s or something like that, and people are smoking. It's just, like... It's got its time, it's, Yeah, course. exactly. Like, I mean, not You have now. a picture on your wall or something smoking. Yeah. That's a cool, flea bag. cool picture. I always think it's flea bag. It's Brian Marco, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is a cool picture. Is that a, is that a boy? He's a boy, but he dresses as a girl. Um, <laughs> but it has that cachet. Like, Courtney Love is always smoking. Like, something about smoking is cool, but I've well, never also, smoked. Like, also, it's terrible for you. A character like Cruella de Vil. Exactly. She has it, but she has it on the whatever that oh, stick yeah, is that, that you put it on. Oh, yeah, the holder, yeah. But now you probably have to phase that out of that character. Oh, God, yeah. That can't be in the new Disney film, surely. I watched it and I don't remember it being in it. No, they must have took that out. They can't have even a villain. You can't have that in a kids' film. Now. <laughs> Very long vape. And she's vaping. Yeah. <laughs> a vape for like a really long <laughs> straw on the end. You can't have that. I wonder what you'd do instead. What could she be do? What would could she be doing instead? Maybe having a drink instead or something. That's bad as well. God. 
I don't know. The other thing is... We have gone woke. The environmental problem with disposable oh, it is vapes. Bad. It is have you bad. ever seen, like, you're walking yeah. down the street and there's a sub a glowing light? You're joking. I see that shit all the time. You know that's the vapes, right? Yeah. I see vapes on the floor all the time. It's really bad. And they want to make me stop using plastic straws. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even having children. Let me have a plastic straw. I'll dispose of it carefully. <laughs> anyway, God, we got derailed there. Fuck. We were doing well up until that point. Anyway, speaking of uh, yeah. losing brain cells, that's how uh, Lex feels about being around the girls. Mm, cool. She said they're annoying. Mm. Kayla's telling Lex... She always takes priority over Bailey. Oh, you've done that bit. Oh, yeah. Um, goose to Kayla. Poor Bailey. Leave Bailey alone. She's loyal. She's loyal and she's not getting the respect she deserves. Loyal to the soil. <laughs> goose said to Kayla, does Matt need you in this game? Because I need you. I'm not stupid. You think about that conversation? He's ass kissing is what he's doing. What are you reaching for? My deodorant, but oh. I'm not going to put it on yet. I just feel a bit sweaty. Spicy is coming clean to Matt mm. about her alliance made before the directors, mm-hmm. I think it is. Mm-hmm. Why did Matt start crying about needing spicy? I'm not sure. Are they close like that? Don't know. I've got the vote. What about you? I've got Matthew is begging for a change of heart for his real ones. I think this was during actual eviction. He said, This is for my real ones. <laughs> Bro, up. Don't know what happened. A um, music video. Yes, but. I've said about Spicy and her PVC dress that was two sizes too small. Oh, when he left, what he said. Oh, it was cringe. Oh, first, can we talk about the <laughs> yeah, vote? Yeah, go on, you tell me yeah, about I think the it vote. was quite significant mm-hmm. in that it came down to a tie mm-hmm. and Spicy was the last person to go to the diary mm-hmm. room and she had to break that tie. Oh. And really, the dilemma had been like, which way was Spicy going to go, mm-hmm. right? Who else is on the block? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Elijah. Was yeah. It? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, we're going to take out Goose? That's yeah. a, that's a something move. It's a weak move. A weak move. Yeah. Or a, I want to say Dodo, but that's yeah. right. Um, yeah, and she, it's her deciding vote that takes out Matt, mm-hmm. ultimately, mm-hmm. after this whole emotional conversation yeah. they just had. Yeah. Go on. Oh, Arissa also did the, with not the same effect, but the Stephanie, you are safe. Was it oh, that one? Oh, yeah, and then Elijah looked like, Shocked, didn't Was they? that Stephanie that was safe? Oh, yeah, was, it was. It? Who yeah. Went? No, she wasn't safe. She, she wasn't went. safe? She went. I can't remember. She did the shock she, the, the, yeah. yeah, the agog. Yeah. Yeah. So as he left, he said, in here and out in the world, talk is cheap. Don't talk about it. Be about it. <gasps> like Khalees. <laughs> I don't talk about it. I am about it. Really? Yeah, really. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I, that was the most cringe thing I've ever seen. It was just like... The worst. Then we had the whole him not looking Arissa in the eye thing. It was awkward. And then worse than that, he was going like this at the end. What I is that? I didn't notice that. I don't know how to describe this. Get your hand. It just reminds like, me do of... The, almost like the rock and roll fingers, but it's not. You've got the thumb out and the little finger, and then you wiggle oh. it from side to side. Like something Keanu Reeves would do Does back it... in the 90s. Isn't this something like, I love you? Is that not I love you? No, that's I lo- like the heart hands. I think there's a symbol like that. It's like, no, it was more like... Bleh, like that. What's up? <laughs> yeah, like that. Like, Ugh. Did you do that? You <laughs> definitely didn't do that. No, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. <laughs> it's okay, they can't see you. <laughs> yeah, that was I just... I thought it was Matt not looking at Arissa is stressing me out. No, it, was, it was weird, wasn't it? <laughs> Refusing to look at Arissa. <laughs> We need to ask like a guilty Arisa. dog. We need to ask Arisa about that because I bet she was freaking out. <laughs> you could tell when she was like, "Yeah, now yeah, look like, at this screen." Yeah. <laughs> Did he actually have goodbye messages? Oh yeah, because yeah, Lexus cause was. What's the face was born in? Yeah, that was it. Uh, and now Arisa Dur- and Jory's not started yet, has it? So no. him and Lexus are going to be separate, separated. Arissa T's an upcoming BB can first. Oh, did she? Yeah. I must have switched it off by then. Just don't want to see all of Arissa's. Tell me, I airtime. do. I um, do. It's called. Yeah. The Movie Night Massacre. Oh, I missed this. Tell me more. It feels to me like it might be a bit like the, what was the round table thing they had going on? Executive thing. No, no, last series. Oh, I can't remember. When Santina went. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can't I feel like it's going to be a similar kind right. of event type mm-hmm. eviction like that. Right. But Movie Night Massacre mm-hmm. that sounds, sounds like a few people are going, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, Maybe triple. it's the new triple. It'll be the new triple, yeah. Because it is, it is getting towards... Believe it or not, even though it's only our second podcast, it's getting, to it's the, getting towards the end now. The pointy end, as they were saying. Yeah, because there's only about 30, 30 episodes, isn't there, normally? So. Is there? Yeah, normally about 30. And this is like 17. So or... we're at the halfway point. Yeah. This is 17, yeah. God. Do you think they're going to boot, like, three of them into the jury house? Yeah, probably. Would that be the start of jury? How big is the Canada jury? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's only just got started, but me, really I, it's not. I don't know. What? You're asking me like I talk about this on podcasts year in, year out. It's like I should know. Wow. Yeah, because <laughs> when I was talking to Jack the other day, I was talking about Big Brother US. And I said, no, Gaz has never seen any episodes of Big Brother US and he said hold on don't you do a podcast about it he said where have you What's been you? where have you been every time no no went oh yeah no he has watched from BB19 on <laughs> I said you I declared oh, you, of you the real BB US, you've never watched I mean. any episodes of it I don't know where I got that from because I knew you'd watched all the Big Brother calendars yeah but that started at the same must have started at around the same time as the last 10 years of BB US or whatever I don't know. The math ain't math. You're not well. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, Professor. <laughs> Should we have a break and see if we've got some emails? We must have. We've probably got some from about three weeks ago saying yeah. uh, d- dinners to win. Do you know what else we've What I've got? What have you got? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I've headache. got my, my completely irrelevant oh. to this audience yeah. and this podcast. Yeah. Exclusive Perfect. interview with a BBUK housemate. Have Don't you? Say who it is. I don't even know who it is. I recorded an, an exclusive. Okay. It shoehorned it into the BB Can coverage sounds completely nonsensical, but we might just have to have to do it because we're not going to talk about BBUK for a long time. Let's do it. All right, why an exclusive I, why interview why coming I up. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, fuck knows. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have a break and we'll back be back after this. <laughs> We are back with the final part. We're going to about, we're about to do the emails. If you want to email us your thoughts about Big Brother Canada, please do. Is anyone watching? Are you watching? Please tell me, is this bad or is this good? Because I need I to like know. it, to be honest. I didn't like it at first, but it's, I've warmed up to it. The emails... But, be... do you, but do you actually hate it or...? The cast is terrible. It's not that... I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> bbonblastpod <laughs> at gmail.com. That's bbonblastpod at gmail.com. Please send us your thoughts. Before that, though, yeah, I was out at an event recently and I happened to be in the room with quite a few reality TV oh, personalities. Oh, God, I just realised. <laughs> <What is it? laughs> <laughs> now, if anyone hasn't watched Big Brother UK, just like skip the next 10 minutes of the pod. Mm-hmm. We're going to go on to the candidate emails or mm-hmm. just leave us now. And we'll see, we'll see <laughs> no, you next week. No, don't leave now because you'll miss all our lovely emails. There's five emails from Laurie to come. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to stay tuned for those, like, you know, regular, you absolutely should. that's our regular programming, yeah. Laurie's Thoughts. Uh-huh. Or listen to this BB UK exclusive, uh-huh. which might have very bad quality because I was on my phone. It was quite a noisy venue. Um, We've not got good quality at the best of time, let's be honest. But this this housemate really needs no introduction, so oh, I'll, no. Just, I'll just play it and then, yeah. Oh my God, I can't Lindsay wait. can react. Right, you know how I get out and about and I do these exclusives sometimes? Well, I'm at an event and it's been jam packed with reality stars. I've seen Katie Price, Celebrity Big Brother winner, Ryan Mark off The Apprentice. Amy, who declared herself a gay icon of the, the Apprentice as well. It's, you could say it's been quite showbiz. And who have I got with me right now? Showbiz! <laughs> showbiz himself, Simon. Great. I see him glittering a mile off with the uh, sequin jacket. I am too. Simon, <laughs> so good to see you. How are you? It's really lovely to see you as well. <laughs> lovely, it's lovely that you remember me. Oh, oh, days. Showbiz! Forget. Showbiz! See, never forgotten. It's showbiz! <laughs> <laughs> That is gold. Night one, right? Yeah. Night one's in there. Two hours. Two hours. That must have been absolutely heartbreaking. It was. Like in hiding for two weeks. Yeah. 
Like, wow. no phone, no nothing. And then <laughs> yeah, we you know go in there, is. and then within two hours, you're evicted. It's yeah. like really, really hard. All your family waiting outside. I think that might have been the harshest twist, twist we've ever seen. Twist. Yeah. I think they would always wanted to do a twist like that. Yeah. And they felt that it was me. Maybe because I came from an acting background. <laughs> Do you want to react to that? I can oh, see you howling over here. Oh, this god. A panto clown? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Does he need a pantomime day? How am I doing so far? Oh, this is great. Trust me, it's only going to get worse. Oh, it's <laughs> fucking great. Show me! Yeah, and um, I don't know if Ajoa had she gone, would have come back and had quite the rise that you did. No, that's true. Okay. Ajoa, if you remember the night when the podium uh, clapped the pimp, the, the pimp, where we had to pull the thing, yes. I actually moved from her and she the actually pimp. moved back. I thought they gave you a chance to swap and you didn't take they it. They did. Yeah. No, I did. No, I did. No, you did swap. And she... They had, to, they, had to, they had to pull the pin out of what? the time bombs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember and that, yeah. he got the evicted one. Yeah. Yeah. We're like just, we're just reliving it. the most revelation of this so far. How do you remember that? And also, Showbiz actually had family on the outside <laughs> waiting for him. I didn't... I just thought of him as his own set for entity. Not, not that he would have family members who cared and loved him. Of course he him. does. <laughs> oh, I hope he does. Oh, of course he does. Um, <laughs> it did just help. I've never thought of it before. <laughs> it did help that I'd seen that um, yeah. twist on TikTok recently. Oh, it's just and, coincidentally. And Drunk conducting this interview. I'd had a couple of drinks, okay, but I wouldn't cool. say I was drunk. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I got the worst, and she got the right one. So yeah, you're right though. She went quite. She was gone before I got it back in. Do you know what's weird? I just watched just watched that clip I like know. the other day on go. TikTok. Someone I saw it. Someone had been posted by someone. Right, I know. Do you know what? I don't have any regrets. I love doing Big Brother. It's a very hard show to do. <laughs> it's He's challenging. It's rewarding. Yeah. It's a hard show to do. Yeah, I bet. But I don't have any regrets. <laughs> I love my time in Big Brother. I've met some amazing. Like me, amazing people like me. Go, <laughs> I'm gonna go back 15 this seconds. Is fucking great. Just to hear that again. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I've been off in other reality shows. Oh, no, did I, get that? I don't want to keep doing reality. Forward. Do other did stuff. I? <laughs> No, I, didn't. I mean, I actually about to start in London, back, yeah. a new show called Divas London, which is a new <laughs> show. Right. It offers ever reality show. Right. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm hosting it, so I'm going to invite you. Uh, oh, so it's going to be you. in London mm-hmm. for nine weeks. It's a party show called Divas London, so I'm going to be hosting that. Because I've always had theatre background. It's amazing when Chelsea yeah, sure. Singh invited us to a big party. Do you remember? Oh, the film premiere. film premiere. We never got the invite. Well, I have had a direct message from Simon. With, oh, with have you? The, well, with the poster as said, yeah. come to Divas. Uh-huh. I'm not sure now, do I just choose a date and turn up? <laughs> <laughs> or, or do I have to book for myself? <laughs> so I might have to inquire. Mm. See if we can go together, maybe. Yeah. Do you want to come to Simon's show? Um, Is it Drag Queen? Not Drag Queens. I, I said, is it Drag he didn't really what give me an it? answer. It's actually just like um, singers doing songs by like the divas, like oh, Celine God. Dion. And yeah, that sounds right on my street. It's right street. on your street. Yeah, God. Donna Summers and oh, that no. <laughs> We'll go to that. It'll be fun. <laughs> there is other things in the pipeline. Showbiz is your brand and showbiz is your oh, business. Show me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's talk about Big Brother. Are you still are you watching ITV's Big Brother? Oh, I did watch the um, the show. I did. Yeah. I love seeing Sharon Osbourne on the show. Yeah. Because I don't know if you know my story, but before I went into Big Brother, <laughs> I actually went for X Factor. And um, not okay, you know, originally, and I, I got to the end and I got taken out and then I got Big Brother. And then I went back and did the stuff and Sharon Osbourne got, got to remember, the end. I remember si- Showbiz <laughs> being in the X Factor final. <laughs> And Simon Cowell shot him. <laughs> what the fuck? Quite well. Um, and I really liked her. And I was so pleased to see her in the show. 
I think she's brilliant TV, and I love Louis Actually, as well. I love them both together, and I thought that was really good casting. Who are you rooting for to win? Sorry. I think David was a really good winner. Mm. I think David Potts is a good oh, winner. He is a good winner. I think Colson was a good winner as well. Oh, Colson was a real winner. Yeah, he was. <laughs> How could he win Big Brother? The thing is about Big Brother, they want they want to nurture somebody. They want somebody that they can yeah. make something, become something. Yeah. And they do, I'm afraid. They do. Yeah, but yeah, and I think public aside, though. They do, and I think Louis was great entertainment. He said it as he was, a bit like I did, really. <laughs> uh, he's older, you know? And I think, but I think David was great. I think David was his, himself. He was oh, true to himself. Yeah. He never changed for anybody. And I think that was the good thing about David. But I do think Colson, I like Colson's story you about Colson. his <laughs> weight loss and, and his career in Coronation Street. I, I just like think Coronation. he's very humble very nice guy. We didn't humbling. see much of the stories in the show, though. I think that was why I found it hard to bat people. Like, David, I love David. I think he's a great winner. He was obviously very, like, moved by it. I feel like he appreciates it the most. But I didn't feel like he had the story. And no, I don't know if no. ITV's Big Brother has those pretty stories. I don't feel like it feels quite as, quite, like, you see as much. Had, there, was a, there was a lot of boys in the last, in the runners-up. Mm. Oh, Nikita was a very good, worthy winner. Yeah. I think there was three or four that probably could have won Big Brother. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, who was going to win it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know. So what if, uh, say, in the future, ITV were to do an all-stars version? They wanted you to come back. Would you go back? Would you? Yeah, in a heartbeat. On, on my grounds. On your okay. You can, like, I was weak. Oh, just the private room. Do you know what? When I did Big Brother, I was very vulnerable to the whole situation. Yeah. And I lost myself a bit. But you know yeah. what? Now I've learned a lot from Big Brother, yeah. and I think I play it very differently. Sure. Um, I, there has been talks about all stars. I would love okay. to do. I'd love to do Big Brother again. I'd love to have the opportunity to do it again in a different way. Yeah. Um, I don't think I did it quite as Simon as Simon is. Um, I thought went to a show. No, I did. I did. I did. What have we seen? The edits. Very, very edited, Big Brother. Sure. In fact, that was one loss that really affected me for quite a long time. Mm. Nicky than, was big longer brother. Longer than I thought it would. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sure. Jay Goody and Nicky were both big brothers. Oh, oh, my God. And they're both dead. It took a, I, will, I will admit, it took a bit of a turn and it caught me off guard. Yeah. Were you getting much? I just... Well, listen and you'll oh, find... Oh, you, you're no. Here. Oh, God. Is he going to start having to count for I just, you? I just didn't oh, quite know no. where we went from there. Oh, God. Um... But coincidentally, obviously, Nikki's just come up. And yeah. Nikki, relevant to BB Thunder as well. But, yeah, um, that's true. Just, I think, last week, it was the anniversary of her death, oh, actually. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. Um, so, yeah, that it, it took a bit of a turn at oh, this point. Jesus. Oh, my God, yeah. It's very sad. It's sad. And... It's very sad. And um, Nikki was a lovely soul. She was a very passionate, lovely person. A beautiful person. Mm. And it's very, very sad. Um, and she seemed most happy in the Big Brother house. She was. Yeah. That was her life. You got to... How long were you in there with her? Five weeks. Well, no, she came in... Maybe two weeks. Uh, oh, I yeah. Ashley, exactly. Nikki, Brian. What? I don't... <laughs> you don't remember Nikki being in Time Bomb? <laughs> being in the house at the same time as Showbiz? <laughs> Helen Wood. <laughs> My memories, Brian of this are, my memories of this are so mashed up. Yeah, of course, because I'm a legend and then yeah. Helen getting Brian to go over the fence. Yeah. And Helen being... <laughs> Helen and he, he, well, she did. And then mm. Helen being in there with Mark, because uh, Mark O'Neill yes. came back. Yeah. Wait, was Mark O'Neill a return? I oh, know, hold on. He was in the... Was Danny he, he... Whisker in Time Bomb? Because uh, Mark no. O'Neill was Danny Whisker's mortal enemy in his first season. 
So I think Mark O'Neill must have come back. Is he a returnee? He must. I thought he was fresh. Well, he was. He only came to fresh. the toilet roll of doom, didn't he? he was, yeah, but was the toilet roll of doom in Time Bomb? Mm. Oh, okay. In that case, yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh my god, I I'm so confused. Showbiz was in with Nikki. What yeah. the fuck? Not a tear was shed. That that series. Oh my god. I am. S- Hold on. So who were you're the... having a time crisis of your own? Hold on. There. So who were the legends who come back? Helen Wood, Brian Ashling, Bellow, Ashling, and, and Mark. Nikki. And, and Nikki. No, I think Mark was already in there, was he? Hold on. Nikki, Hold Ashleen, on. You got a boyfriend, Brian. all right. That was Mark, I think, ended up in the bunker room where the legends were living, but I don't know why. I think that was Mark's second season. Was it? Mark I'm not O'Neil. sure. Google it. Can you Google it? Because the season that Mark O'Neill was in, the OG season... Do you like it? I like that drink. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I'll give Gaz this drink that I don't want. Um... The season that Mark O'Neill was in, when me and James were doing our podcast, we used his picture every single week. We wouldn't have used his picture every single week if he was in with Nicky and shit like that. We'd have been using pictures of Nicky and stuff. I swear that was his first season. Didn't he have a thing with Sam? Loving Life? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What is that that thing? (laughs) Oh, my God. We need to go back. and. Oh, my God. My brain's... You could just Google Mark O'Neill and you'll have all the answers. So well, let's do carry it on after. listening let's to Simon. Let's listen to Showbiz. <laughs> I am, and Helen. Uh, yeah, Helen. I actually got her right. I, I, I made sure I did. 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 You don't. Nikki and Trust I knew... Me, I've, I've no, been on the wrong side on Twitter. We knew each other a little bit before Big Brother. Yeah. Um, but then when I actually got time to spend with her, and afterwards I became more closer to her. Yeah. Oh. She was a wonderful soul. Um, so yeah, it was. It, that was one of my greatest achievements, being in the house and meeting Nikki Graham. Mm. Mm. Let me wrap this up. Who's <laughs> <laughs> that? Being obnoxious um, in the back room. I was just like, how do we wrap this up? At this point, I was like, <laughs> I've lost my train. It's like, how can you go from like losing Nikki to yeah, you know, mm. what do you want to promote? You now? should have asked him more about Mark O'Neill. Oh, I couldn't My think favorite. of it. My favourite. It's Prick and Timberfall. <laughs> I know. Nikki Graham. I was in the room with her at a She is Big Brother. brother. She was Big Brother. True. She, she is a legend. Icon. She is a legend. I'm a legend. She's a legend. She's a legend. She's a legend. I'm a legend. Who is she? As she said herself. Showbiz! <laughs> <laughs> yes! What, what can you say? Cat Showbiz is new, new show. The Divas. It's called Divas London. It's going to be in London from the 26th of April. For nine weeks, every Friday, Saturday and Sunday, okay, we're going. taking over the River Thames on a party boat, <laughs> oh, okay. and it's going to be fabulous. All right, I'll be there. Thank you for coming up on the podcast. Thank you, Simon, so much. Thank you. I'm not drinking it. Maybe we should go. It sounds fun. That's a whirlwind, wasn't it? God, I like fucking love Showbiz. He's fucking <laughs> great. Showbiz! You could have him on this podcast uh, anytime you best. want. He's the best. He's the best. How he did I do? Insane. That was good. You did a good job. Look, let's what? be honest about Showbiz. No, yeah. we'll talk about you in a minute. We'll okay. give you your appraisal okay. in a minute. Showbiz, give when he first went with. in, when he got the boot, I was like, thank fuck, he seems annoying as hell. I told you the rise was good. Yeah. The comeback but was good. When he came back in, it was like, oh, come on. We've missed him, really, haven't mm. we? We enjoyed him, really. And we saw a softer side to him yeah. when he came back. Yeah, and he, he was like a... He was... Felt like he was putting on a bit of a show. Which he well, probably yeah. felt like he thought himself in there <laughs> a bit, you know, showbiz and all that. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it was good. It, he's one of those memorable characters you actually fucking remember. Exactly, like you know, as much as I said, like yeah. you're a legend as well. Like yeah. he's not like legend. He's not like icon. No, he's not icon like Nikki. No, or, but he's uh, a quirky Ashley. character. But you will never, remember. you will never forget him. It, him, Marco Pierre White Jr. and uh, Mark O'Neill. They're like sort of like abrasive characters who we remember who entertained us and weren't around for long but they left an impact also you wouldn't walk by him on the street and not know that's showbiz no you know what I mean he looks exactly the same yeah he's wearing a glitzy sequin mm. gold jacket mm. the brand hasn't slipped mm. I wasn't ready for that who is she showbiz mashup well that should be made when you bring into out the a iconic... rage <laughs> <laughs> when you bring out the iconic phrases it's just natural for that to follow no right? you did a good job what was showbiz actually like behind the scenes exactly how you think you would be great I mean I did go in to give him a hug and he didn't reciprocate really I think he didn't notice oh. I was trying to do the sort of like thank you bye bye mm-hmm. we're at the bar yeah uh, prob- that was very awkward 
Didn't notice. What didn't he notice? Are you trying to give him a hug? He was like looking over his shoulder. No, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> snubbed by showbiz at the end. I felt snubbed, but I think it could have yeah, been. Hold just on, been then he sent you the message after. He, so no, strange. we, after that, mm. is caught at the end day. He's putting down his glass of wine. Mm. We were at this. Okay, here's the background. What event was this? I, you were at by the I had got tickets to a show, mm-hmm. which is showbiz. Um, <laughs> When you when you put yourself in the showbiz world, you'll bump into people like Simon Gross Showbiz. Um, it was Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. You know mm-hmm. the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called Priscilla the Party. Uh-huh. It's like a stage version of Priscilla, Queen mm-hmm. of the Desert, mm-hmm. which has already been made into a musical. But this version was like a party. Mm-hmm. So um, the audience are like around the stage and the performers come off of the stage and the stage moves around it's mm-hmm. like modular mm-hmm. and that was for Dan's birthday mm-hmm. so I'd booked these tickets because it fell on his birthday mm-hmm. and it's a sh- stage show about drag and we like mm-hmm. to go to drag shows mm-hmm. so I thought this is great plus it's called a party it's his birthday mm-hmm. I'll book it we got there mm-hmm. and there was like there were like performers around and people greeting you and there were like two entrances we obviously had general entry so we went to this one entrance and I started to like look around. And I was like, oh, I'm recognising a few people here. Yeah. I was mm. like, what the hell? And I was like, okay, that guy was on mm. The Apprentice. Mm. Oh, there's a guy, I was like, there's a guy from Big Brother here. Yeah. This guy, it's Channel 5, so you don't know him today. Yeah. Who was this the guy Big was Brother on Big person? Bro- showbiz. Showbiz, yeah. yeah. And, um, and then in the interval, I saw this girl walking back mm. to her place with a guy. Mm. And it was Kate. I was like, is that Katie Price? She's with someone from mm-hmm. Married at First Sight, I think. Right, yeah. Where's our interview with Katie Price then? You can't get near Katie winner, Price. Winner, Katie Price. <laughs> <laughs> Katie Price, why did you go in the Big Brother house with an infected tit? Yeah, and why were you so boring in the Big Brother house? she had an infected tit. Even though you weren't. God yeah. knows how. Um, well, I know how, Katie <laughs> actually. Price, Katie Price looked really young. Did she? In real life. What? She looks so weird in pictures. She looked she, good. She looks... Are you serious? Yeah, she did. And also she short. She looks so bad in pictures, like freakish she, she looks alright really that's yeah. interesting it took me a minute to like catch her really uh, yeah anyway so I'm like hang on there's like a lot of minor celebrities here mm. and then I looked around there were like a few drag queens that I know a few mm. dra- a drag king that I know mm-hmm. like that we've seen perform mm-hmm. I was like what is going on and then I looked yeah. on their social media afterwards and oh yeah hang on this is it at the end of the show they started to hand out wine and canapes mm-hmm I was like, well, if there's free wine, I'll have it. Yeah, quite. At the end of that, Simon was like, I'm not drinking any more of that. That's shit. <laughs> Put the wine down. <laughs> if it was free, I'll drink it. Yeah. I did. Yeah. And on the, I looked on the Instagram later and it turned out it was a press night. Oh, But I okay. just bought a ticket oh. as a normal pay-in mm. member of the public. No, you're from so... the Beyond Blast <laughs> press team, as we found out. So I don't think every night they would have handed out free wine mm-hmm. and, and no. canapes. Mm. But yeah, it just so happened I'd seen mm. Showbiz. And to be honest with you... Um, was it, where was Dan when you were doing that interview with Showbiz? Just hanging out at the bar. Because <laughs> Showbiz was with someone as well. Yeah. But they disappeared for a bit. <laughs> um, but I'd seen... I spotted Showbiz. And uh, I was like, oh, I've... Well, you said I want him to say Showbiz for the podcast. Of That's course. what you said. Because I was updating in that group. I spotted yeah. this person and this yeah. person and this person. People were like, what the fuck? Um, well, have some respect for showbiz. So I was like, okay, I need to make my approach. And I was like, he was in this seated area off the side, mm. but I was on the floor and I like went around and he was like walking and I sort of did a flyby, but <laughs> lost my confidence nah. and didn't approach him. That's good you did it though. I didn't know you'd actually done that interview with him. I didn't know you'd done that. Really? No. I thought I must have mentioned Because I was good at saying, like, just get him to go, oh, showbiz, like, for BB on Blast. You know, so, I've got to try. Yeah. So I was like... No, I mean, good. to be honest, like, to be truthful, like, mm. I've I've not been my most confident. I've been having a rough time. Yeah. And I've, I could really feel it. I was, like, getting mm. anxious about approaching him and talking to him. I'm sure showbiz was delighted to talk to of you. Of course he, he was. He to talk about himself. And then, like... <laughs> As he came uh-huh. back, I sort of hung out by this column yeah. and waited <laughs> and acted like I was like... Yeah. And what just, did you say to hanging. him? I was like, Simon, Simon, <laughs> I'm a really big... It's like, who the fuck are you? I was like, I'm a big, big brother fan. <laughs> and I, I said to him, I actually applied for your series, yeah. mm-hmm. got pretty close to getting mm-hmm. in. And he was like, oh, who are you auditions? Who are you in? Who did you meet in auditions? Yeah. So Aaron... 
He's like, oh, I didn't meet him because he'd been kicked out by the time I come back. And uh, obviously, he met him on the launch Northampton. night, but it was very quickly gone. Mm. I um, liked him. And I was like, I've got a podcast about Big Brother. Like, would you want to, like, how I, like, mm-hmm. are you feeling on today? Do you want to, like, talk? Yeah. Do you want to talk to me for a bit? And he was yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll talk. But it was in the interval. Yeah. So there was another section of the show to yeah. happen. And he was like, find me after and okay. we'll talk. Okay. Which was, I it's appreciated very, that. Yeah, it's very nice of him to give like, this time. Yeah, yeah. I will set you aside don't have the time. To. Just be like, fuck you. Like, I don't give a shit. And so after this, the show wraps up, it was like, free time but he was a vip yeah therefore because he was invited therefore he had access to a part that i didn't and mm-hmm. he'd gone up there ah. and dan had passed him in the corridor to, ah. to the toilets and he was like come upstairs we're upstairs yeah i was like well, dan allowed. just went yeah, yeah. yeah we can't yeah so i sort of hung around downstairs and he came back down later and oh. we reconnected hang with the common people and, yeah and we just like mm-hmm. snuck off to a little corner in the, ah! in the corridor and... be careful reconnected and snuck off to a corner this sounds yeah we just spoke in the, in, put our wine down and spoke <laughs> in the corner <laughs> Well, he was saying to you, you should apply, and he was happy to meet you. Are you that's gonna... so funny when he's like, I've met a lot of lovely people like yeah, you. I'm like, good. come off it. So are you going to apply this year? I don't know. Maybe yeah. not. I don't think it's my time yet. Well, you might regret it if you don't. Yeah, but there's still going to be other times to apply. Yeah, but do you want to be the old, old, oldie? I might have to be. Like, if I applied, I'd be the old, old, oldie. At the moment, you'd still be borderline, but... <laughs> you know what I mean? The time, right side of 40. Time's ticking. You don't want to be called Father Time in Time bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Father Time bomb. <laughs> <laughs> but no, actually, Simon was very... Good for him. N- nice in real life. He was. And it's really nice that he invited me to the show. Mm-hmm. Let's see if it comes through for real. I think you for should real, come. For real. For real, I'll for come. Real. If it's on a boat, come. let's. It'd be fun. We could get some good content from it, couldn't we? We could have a laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? We might meet other big people. Agreed Who now. knows? So yeah. I'll message him back and yeah. say we've put the interview out on the podcast. Yeah. And my co-host would like to come. Yeah. And he'll put, to listen the show. To, he listens to that. And be like, fuck that say, sarcastic bitch. Yeah. I'm not coming. <laughs> he's like, here's the link. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Buy a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> You're blocked. Anyway, thank you, Sci- Showbiz. And Simon, Show us. Simon in real life. Um, that was fun. You I can that. you can follow <laughs> Showbiz. Go uh, on. What's his at on Instagram? How many followers has Showbiz got? He needs more. Uh, at Simon Gross. That's G R O S S. Yeah. Showbiz. Yeah. Simon Gross. Showbiz. Yeah. That's his Instagram. Showbiz has got 4,814 oh, followers. On. You could be the 4,815. I'm going to follow him. And also check out his show, Divas. Go to his Instagram, all the information is there. He's always plugging something, Showbiz. I remember he, he had that Christmas song. He was doing those <laughs> other nights. Song. Yeah, he had a Christmas See? song. He was doing some like other party nights. You've got questions for Showbiz. We should oh, get more content with him. I, could talk, I want to talk to Showbiz about what Mark O'Neill was really like. All right. And Let's Helen, see if we I can. I want to hear more about Helen Wood as well. Like, like, I, made, I made sure I kept on the right side of it. I was like, <laughs> fucking blame it. Oh, it must have been a different series because Creepy Chris, that wasn't Showbiz era. Mark O'Neill's not in with Creepy Chris, is he? No, Mark O'Neill was in with... No, Creepy Chris was in with Helen Wood. Yeah. Because he was like scared of her. That was a different series. When you put in Mark O'Neill, one of the predictions is Mark O'Neill tinfoil. <laughs> <laughs> On Google. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when he first came in, I just thought, oh, God, this guy looks like the worst person ever. And then within one day, I was like, this person's the best person ever. Terrorising Danny Whisker. Was Mark just... O'Neill was a housemate. Wasn't he a scientist? From Big Brother 16, he entered the house on day 18 and was 10th to be evicted on day 53. How the fuck? He's not a returnee. He's a newbie to Time it. Bomb. Yeah. He never returned. No. It's time... Wasn't he in with Creepy Chris? No. Helen no. Wood was. Helen Wood oh, was. Helen, Helen Wood was, was the returnee. Yeah, okay, yeah. fine, 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 fine. God, it all gets Back mashed. in the room? It gets mashed up in my head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but does doesn't, doesn't some of the this stuff... Or do you have it all in, neatly in a row? In my head, it's just... Blah, blah, blah. Well, Channel 4, I've got it all neatly in the road. Channel yeah. 5 is a bit like... Bleh. Yeah. It's like... Cause Until I, the last couple of years. Because me and Jack were talking about when uh, Spencer Pratt came back 
Yeah. Like, there was obviously the, him with versus Ryan, but then when he came back, he was in with Kim, Kim Woodburn. Woodburn. And we were like, uh, Jack was saying when Spencer Pratt was like, just looking at Kim Woodburn, like, what the fuck? And he was like a lot quieter that time around. He was mm. like, wasn't really. Not when they had an argument over the patio door, though. <laughs> <laughs> And so I get some of those things mixed up because, like, Jane, uh, Jane. James, oh. what was he called? The dancing guy. Oh. Um. Oh, God. <laughs> How have I forgotten what that guy is called? Um. Um, <laughs> just my opinion, mate. That guy. <laughs> James was, Jordan. That was it. He was, like, having a, a, issues with Gary Busey. <laughs> that was just, just fucking, oh, my God. But that, but he came back. So his first season was that with Gary Busey, no, yes. and then his second season was with Kim Jim Woodburn Burn. and Spidey and all that. Yeah, and Austin Armacost came. His back. wife did it as well. Yeah, and Austin Armacost came back as well, mm-hmm. and then he got cruelly evicted halfway through in that yeah. twist. But I get some of it muddled because Jedward came back as well, didn't they? Yeah. Jedward doing all twice as yeah. well. It is co- kind of confusing when it's people who've been in a couple I of times. I need Jedward back again. Yeah. Anyway, let's do the Big Brother Canada emails. Thank yeah, you for enjoying thanks that. Thanks for, yeah. En- enjoring is the wrong word. That was fucking <laughs> Enjoying great. that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I, said, I did say enjoying. <laughs> and I said skip 10 minutes and people that skip yeah. 10 minutes probably like, fuck, Yeah, oh God, they're still going. Still going but would on. they be surprised, really? And also <laughs> they would have just switched off, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> right, Laurie's emails. There's five of them, mm-hmm. so we're doing the Laurie section now. But it's our fault because we've not done a podcast. The first, they've got this they've month. got titles. The art of persuasion is this one. Mm. Oh, she's putting in. Work. I want to hear this. We've watched some pretty stupid moves over the years, haven't we? This one is right up the up <laughs> near the top. I don't know which one she's talking uh, about. Vivek. What a punch! What a gut punch to Dennis. Yes. <laughs> Imagine trying for a decade to get on the show <laughs> and this happens. Yeah, she's right. Tragic. <laughs> Ta ta for now, loyalist to the lorry. I mean, she's right. It was a, a doozy of a move, wasn't it? A doozy. It was a doozy. And then Laurie's next email. Oh, it doesn't have a title. The collective BB fandom sat through two pointless episodes <laughs> and over a dozen hours of dailies this week. Lol. <laughs> That eviction episode was great TV in capitals oh, and bold, was wasn't exact, it? Was it the exec one? I imagine yeah. so. I was on pins and needles the entire time. On pins and needles, we didn't say I that. I like that. What, what would we say? On, uh, on tenterhooks. That was it. Uh, Dennis must be ecstatic. Yes. Just Hashtag justice for Dennis. Yes. I like Dennis. Tough and nice. It's the lorry. And next, BB can feedback too. Scroll, screenshot below. Ooh. Oh, you, oh. Are ne- you are next. It's ah. Dennis with the tea cup. Yes. I want to follow Dennis. I think he's fun. Fabulous tweets. I Laurie. reckon Dennis would actually be quite fun on the podcast. I'm um, sure he's not doing much else. Oh, you interview with Dennis. Is that yeah, the next one? Yeah, I like him. He's fun. And now, reaction video of last night's eviction. First three eliminated house guests, if you want to watch it sometimes. It's less than three minutes long. Three minutes oh, long. All right. Now? Shall we? <laughs> Shall we? Shall we? We can all give it a try. We can all switch it off. Of... You're unable to view this post oh. because this account <laughs> owner limits who can view their posts. Boo! Oh, well. We try. Never mind. And then last lorry email. Loyal listener Laurie. Loyal emailer Laurie. I think Anthony has only had two things not go his way in oh. the entirety of his time in the BB house. Mm. Not winning and Corey getting the boot. Corey? There's no Corey. What's she talking about? That's what she's written. (laughs) Until now. Ah. Is there a Corey in BB Can? No. Let me look at that. That's what it says. Wasn't it a woman called Corey? Oh, it must be his previous season, I think. Yeah, there's a woman called Corey, wasn't there? I'm not sure. I think it must be his previous season. I'm telling you, it's a woman with brown hair. Corey, BB Can. (laughs) There's no woman called Corey. There is. Okay. There is, there is, there is. Do you can. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> you remember, she's like a mom. No. Okay. <laughs> Anthony was working with her, was he? No. <laughs> no, you've never what? seen her before in my life. <laughs> in my life. Obviously, like, wanted her Who's out. Who's that next to her? Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's her. also her. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, that's... No. That's Anthony Caesar. She was quite wild. I do not bit remember. much. Anthony Caesar, I clearly have no recollection like of. like she's done a few drugs in her time. <laughs> <laughs> he said that, not me. <laughs> <laughs> wow how does laurie remember that shit what the fuck i don't know okay anyway she thinks anthony's had two things not go his way in yeah. his bb career God. until now well hold on what were the two things because him not winning must have been one of them yes it is not oh, with right, him not yeah. winning and oh, Corey not enough. being all right laurie's two steps ahead of me shout out to either dicey v has been so chaotic <laughs> but i'm glad she's not giving him every damn thing he yeah. wants yeah I'm saying the quiet part out loud. Mm. Could this be the season where the girls vote I, all the boys out? That's what I was, yeah. Laurie has all of her digits crossed. I've been hoping. I've been hoping. Ta-ta for now. Loyalist and Laurie. Kiss emoji. P.S. You like this? Yeah. It was fun seeing the ding-dongs back in the BB oh, house too. Oh, the ding-dongs. <laughs> How do I not remember? Laurie, who would you rather have? Marsha or the ding-dongs? I know the answer. Yeah, don't even bother replying for that because we know. And now there's an email from Tom who hasn't. Were <laughs> you e- going to say Laurie again? <laughs> no, who hasn't emailed since like last series of BB Cam. Oh really? Tom's Hi Tom. Probably a Canadian. Hi Tom. Hi Tom. I know this time last year we had the big BB Can Eleven blow up with Vanessa walking. That who? was good. The bald woman, Vanessa. Oh her, uh, yeah. And Queen. I am not in your face. <laughs> I'm I am it. within it. <laughs> now that is a line. Koozie as HOH. I miss so... Koozie. Can't we bring her, Karen and Godfrey back for next season, please? By the way, this was sent on March 28th. So oh, comparatively, good. season 12 is very dull with Dennis okay. mildly muttering, burn it all before pretending to <laughs> roll over like a puppy. <laughs> Okay, so he's no, on... proceeding to roll so over. So he's like on the same page as you, basically. He is, because okay. he knows what he's talking about. Okay, fine. Um, in brackets. And Dennis did dress like the type to wear a dog mask. <laughs> <laughs> he not, did. Not kink shaming, just the statement. He did. He's definitely got the tail butt plug, hasn't he? <laughs> Dennis is a pup. Dennis is on field. But I'm... <laughs> But I'm hoping there is an actual curse because if you've noticed, whenever Arissa, I don't know why it's got two S's. Oh, is, is he calling Arissa a snake? No, I don't Arissa. think so. I think he maybe just doesn't have to spell it. Arissa asks the evicted house guest who they think will win. The person goes home next. Oh. Janine said Donna. Oh. Donna said Dennis. Oh. Dennis said Tola. Oh. Didn't happen. Oh, Ron Tola didn't go home. Goodbye, Tola. He could, he could have, though. He could have. Because he was up. On the exact video. Yeah. Oof. The exec veto saved him. Did he get saved? Yeah. I must pause for two and a half minutes to inform you. <laughs> this email is brought to you by our friends at Skip. <laughs> Not the dishes, this in brackets this season. <laughs> a forgettable 70 day stay in Canada. <laughs> a used Lexus. <laughs> And a Wendy served to you by uh, <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> you know, the guy from seven years ago who was evicted week two. <laughs> and Chris's mum. This is good. <laughs> Thanks for this, Tom. Um, petition to revoke Victoria's nickname. Mm. You know you're screwed. Your legacy. You know you've, you've screwed your legacy mm. when Karen is more entertaining in three minutes than you've been in Ooh. three weeks. Oh, that's, Oof. that's not true. Burn. Everyone is in Anthony's sock puppet. Everyone is no. Everyone is Excuse Anthony's me. sock puppets. Avery to win. Hold on. How can people be Anthony's sock puppets when he doesn't have any socks on? I heard. You're right. Mm mm. That's why they're sock puppets because they're on his hands, not his feet. Ah! Hold on, Avery to win, <laughs> mate. This he, email's a trip. He lost us. You had us, you lost us. What I'm sad about is Tom hasn't emailed since because we haven't done the podcast, hasn't bothered. But yeah, but I now want more he's thoughts. Seen, yeah, but now he's seen we've done a podcast, he'll email again. Uh, Tom, please do email because surely it's not still Avery to win. Come on, Avery. She's All my so thoughts annoyed. are subject to change. There you oh, go. Thank you. you. Can change the rules at any time. Uh, what, what date did he send this, Avery to win? 28th of March. Uh, what date is it now? Uh, 12th of April, uh, 13th of April now. It's still unacceptable, in my opinion. Accept the unaccepted. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's the title of the podcast. Accept the unaccepted. Tom, 
Tom. That's genius. That was a good email, Tom. Mm. Thank you very much. Thanks, we Tom. like those views. Tom. Wayward views. Hold on. No, not wayward. Tom, oh, don't, don't you watch BB UK or BBUS? You only email for BB Can. I think he's a BB Can fan. Yeah, but Perhaps come he's on. in Canada. If you're he a BB s- Can fan, you must be watching BBUS, so. Tell us more. Did you watch Celebrity Big Brother UK? Mm. Did you watch BB UK? Yeah. We're back did, now. Did you watch. Do Bobby you watch Jane. BBUS? Yeah. You can't just watch Big Brother Canada. That's impossible. <coughs> That's like just eating the icing off a cake <laughs> rather than eating a cake. I don't know. If you were going to pick mm. just one version, Canada's not a bad choice. Yeah, that's the worst choice. If you're going to pick just no, one US version... No, US is the worst choice. No, you're wrong. He's... Are you joking? No, I'm not the joking. the shit I've had to sit through on BBUS? Yeah, but you've missed all the good fucking seasons. Yeah, but right now... But I've told you to go back and watch. If you're going to pick one season... The one, credentials are not good. One country, it would either be... Well, to me, US is the best. And then us. And then Canada Come and on. Australia. What? You, US over UK? Yeah. When US is good, it's better than UK. It's B.A. <laughs> I'm Nikki serious! Gra- you s- I told Dan's s- funeral over Nicky Graham? Yeah. Get out. I'm telling you, you don't Shut know. Shut the front door. You don't know. I've seen both and you haven't. That's the difference. You weren't there, man. You weren't- I've seen both and you She's haven't. She's a legend. I, I understand. And they're, two, they're two completely different things as well. But you don't you don't understand. You've not seen the full picture. You're not in possession of all the facts. Mm. So I've got to tell you, mm. someone emailed me, mm. Ricky, mm. on Twitter, and said, what Big Brother season should I watch? BBUS season. What's this? Side alliance? No, I'm telling you. This emailed people, you off of Twitter? People, Where'd they get your email from? Not email, DM'd me. Right. <laughs> These are people who respect my opinion. Yeah. He said, what seasons of BBUS should I watch? So I told him exactly what I wanted to watch. Yeah. He watched the whole of season three in about two minutes right. and came back this bit was good this bit was good this bit was good I was like I'm an influencer here like I'm making a difference <laughs> I'm making a difference micro influencer like, then yeah. someone else Ryan on Instagram messaged me and said I've watched The Chase and some other shit what should I watch next I said you need to watch 90 Day Fiance now he's starting watching 90 Day Fiance I'm making a difference here to you're making lives. making waves in the reality tv if scene if you start watching night day films so that's a good five years of your life so what you never have to watch another program again mm, there's your retirement everyone. that's some good to share i've got some good opinions going on we should go on a reality show together <laughs> don't you think <laughs> what <laughs> race across the world <laughs> no absolutely anything but that <laughs> <laughs> just one where i have to stand still please I'm not good with reality shows. I'm not good with... We've any... got more chance together. Why? No, you go with Dan. He is good at that sort of thing. He likes being on TV. I can't... No. <laughs> and also, I don't want to be picked on on social media. <clears throat> I don't want to be called fat and ugly. I've got enough problems. People can be cruel. They, yeah, they can. <gasps> Oh. They will be. Uh-oh, not Jack's Jack's back. Uh-oh. Let's get Jack's opinion on Big Brother Canada real quick. Oh no, he's he's not prepared. It so. doesn't matter. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You're live on BB on Blast. We're Please right do at not swear. Oh, no. Come on, come here. How drunk are you? Not too bad. Oh, he's drunk. Oh, all right. Come here. Tell us what you think about BB Canada. Yeah, I want to know. We're in brief. Overall, in brief. how do you find the series? What's like? What's your general feeling? Um, Come here and say This is Jack, by the way. It's Lindsay's other other half. Here. It's not my other half. I don't agree with that expression. Right here? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's oh. alright. Oh, is that it? It's not, you know, it's not bad. Oh, is that all you've got? Tell it's us your great, opinion on it? some of the characters. Come on, it's not great. Okay, Anthony. Yeah. Cunt. Actually quite Ooh, like him. Bloody hell. <laughs> cunt, but you like him. Elijah. No. Pencil dick, cunt. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Todd, good character. Yeah. He's had a bang on the head or something. Um, oh my god. He, he's good, right? Yeah. Um, I liked her. Taylor, yeah. Lexus. Pretty hot. Same thing. Um, <laughs> Same thing. Uh, Spicy V, I think Spicy V's gonna. Is she gonna like betray them or gonna betray her? I don't know. Um, 
I don't know. What... I like put him on the spot. He yeah, fit, what look. else can I say? It's like he's under the cloche. <laughs> oh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, what do you think about Spicy V's wardrobe? Uh, <laughs> Which uh, you... No comment. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about v- Vivek getting uh, done with the executive veto? He deserved it. Didn't he, he did, didn't he? <laughs> he, just, you know, he deserved it, deserved it, deserved it. What's that guy's name that he sort of done? Dennis. 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 Derek. Dennis. 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 Yeah, Dennis. 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 Yeah, Dennis. Dennis. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah, or, or as Lindsay's been calling him all night, Dennis. Den- Den- Denise. <laughs> 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 I, I felt a bit sorry for Vivek. Vivek? Yeah. Vivek. I did feel sorry for him, but yeah. You know. I felt sorry for him too. I didn't. I you thought like he quite... became the house enemy for no reason. Yeah, but he yeah, still he just sort of he betrayed, betrayed his best friend. Didn't he? No, before yeah, that, it was yeah, a witch but... hunt f- for him. Yeah, but he stabbed his best friend in the back, and yeah, that's later, unforgivable. He was driven to that. No, he wasn't. <laughs> driven. He wasn't. What driven to it in that infinity car? Come on, uh, Bailey, I like. Bailey. Yeah, she's good. And isn't she? Facial expressions. Yeah. Gaz like said, it. "You only get that car on loan for two years. You don't even get to take it home." <laughs> I'm not surprised. You've not been reading the small print. <laughs> the year of skip is a ten grand payout. <laughs> Jack doesn't agree with the promotion. He finds it well, beneath him. Just, it's, it's slightly distracting. Mm. You're not Demeaning. used to it. Have conversations like in the back of a car. Yeah. Well, it pays the for the show, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm not against so. it. Well, you know, the car is just like back in the day when they put like a caravan in the garden yeah but you didn't actually get to take the caravan home did you <laughs> no but that would be a good, <laughs> a good prize <laughs> should we wrap this up it's probably yeah best. we will follow jack on twitter mm. <laughs> what's your twitter don't know what is it profound armpit profound armpit used to... at we profound armpit it. for he doesn't even know what his own twitter many is. opinions <laughs> Um, follow me at follow me like at VM. Follow me at BB underscore superfan. And uh follow us on Spotify. Leave us a review. We oh we have to thank Rowan. He oh, left us a thank lovely you. donation last uh, uh when was it? Last month? Yeah, the end of Sub Big Brother. Very yeah. nice of lovely, that was very, very nice donation. of her. We very much appreciate that. Thank you very that. much. You can donate on our mm. PayPal in the link tree. We know you won't, but you could. And um, what else? Read my book, First Aid Kit Girl. It's flying off the shelf. And send us an email, bbmlastpod at gmail.com. Is this a Who bad season of BB Canada? Was it Tom who emailed us? Tom. Send, Tom. Get back in touch, Tom. And uh, thanks to Simon for giving us that interview. That was amazing. Thanks, Simon. Thank Show you so us. much. And yeah, I think you'd be impressed that we got through that many episodes this quick. So give us a pat on the back. And yeah. when will we be back? Who knows? Next week, week after. We back won't, on it now. We won't we? just be like the finale now. We will do some yeah, more. We will do it. some more. Back on our shit. We're not necessarily on it, on it, but we're on it more than we were. I think we're on it. We're on it. We're on it. You've heard it here first. Is you a screecher? Uh, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.